Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Everyone, sign up for the profession of sword immortal, open heaven with one sword. Chapter 61. In the fog, Yi Ching killed the monster in the fog. After clearing a street, congratulations on the upgrade, the current level is 23. Your flying sword Yudian has been upgraded, currently level 18. Your flying sword Zushan has been upgraded, currently at level 16. Yi Ching took out his cell phone, it was already half past six in the afternoon. The surroundings began to darken, it seems that I need to find a place to rest, and I won't go back to that restaurant. Arriving at a house where residents were staying, two nightmare spirits came out of the house. Yi Ching killed him instantly with one sword strike. Looking at this house, it was quite clean and tidy, so I started to arrange the formation. An hour later, the sky darkened completely. Yi Ching completed the formation and leaned on a wooden chair. He held the blue spirit fruit in his hand and chewed it, I will prepare more food next time. This food tastes good, but I can't eat it all the time. The little fox lying on the side barked in agreement. The formation was activated, and Yi Ching lay on the bed and fell asleep. But this night, the town was destined not to be very peaceful. People from the two camps tacitly killed the monsters on the opposite side. Some people in the mist camp discovered that they could control some monsters. Although the nightmare spirit was very strong, it was easily killed with the help of human sea tactics and monsters. In the second half of the night, the two parties rested with each other. The students from the nightmare camp returned to the restaurant. Students from the Misty Camp found several vacant houses to live in and took turns keeping vigil. There are also some monsters in the distance, guarding this place. The next morning, Yi Ching stretched himself. Walk out of the house and disappear into the thick fog. Go to the two camps respectively to check everyone's status. Yi Ching was very familiar with the location of the restaurant. After checking it, he looked for another group of people. In the eastern part of the town, Yi Ching stood on a house. Seeing that Lin Kui, Morong Shui and Nangong Ru were all in the mist camp, his cold eyes softened a little. As expected, it seems that the mist camp is much stronger than the nightmare camp. How can you resist now? Yi Ching did not plan to take action today, nor did he plan to level up. His target is two epic bosses. If you kill them, the harvest will be huge. No matter how many monsters you kill, the rewards will not be as good as these two epic bosses. Yi Ching's eyes flashed as he considered things. There is an irreconcilable conflict between these two bosses. It is best to let them both lose and kill them with the minimum strength. The key point now is to cause conflict between the two parties, Yi Ching thought quickly. A key figure came to mind, Zhang Fan. He is the son of the Lord of Nightmares. Yi Ching's eyes flashed and he disappeared into the mist. The conflict between the two camps continues, and it will take several hours for the nightmare spirit to reappear. The monsters in the fog were from their own camp, and they found that even if they killed them, they would not gain experience. The mist camp was divided into two factions. Morong Shui and Lin Kui's moderate faction only killed monsters and did not do other things. The radical faction that Chu Yang belongs to. Chu Yang looked at Morong Shui, there are only two days left. According to the refresh time of the nightmare spirit, all of us can't exchange anything at all. Yes. Try killing people from the other camp, maybe you can get more points. Lin Kui roared angrily, you crazy people actually want to kill people. So what, who knows if we kill people. Besides, the dungeon is originally a lawless zone. Chu Yang said with a sneer. As long as you follow me, you can change to epic equipment and get various rare props. When you go to the outside world, you will be far ahead of everyone else. Don't forget. This is the college entrance examination. If one person dies, there will be an extra spot in a top university. Chu Yang shouted passionately, his voice extremely contagious. As he kept talking, more and more people began to waver. Chu Yang winked at a person in the crowd, and that person stepped out and stood behind Chu Yang. Seeing someone standing out, more and more people began to stand behind Chu Yang. There were only a few people left in the crowd. Chu Yang looked at the few people with fear and shouted to the crowd, let's go to the other side's camp. Morong Shui and Shang Wan Hong were both SSS level professionals, so he had absolutely no confidence in dealing with these two people. Seeing a group of people walking away, Lin Kui felt helpless, what should we do? Wait, 
Let's find another place to live and wait for the nightmare spirit to refresh. Nan Gong Ru said. At this moment, a figure walked out of the fog, and Yi Ching looked at the few people calmly. You guys come with me. Go watch a big show. When Lin Kui saw Yi Ching, he was immediately happy, and then asked in confusion, what? When Morong Shui saw Yi Ching, her expression was calm, but there was a hint of softness in her cold eyes. Nan Gong Ru was a little confused, aren't you from the nightmare camp? What is going on? Yi Ching did not answer, but glanced at the other person. When he saw Shang Wan Hong, Yi Ching was slightly startled. But he quickly averted his gaze. This person was extremely famous in his previous life, and was the first female head of the Shang Wan family. It led the Shang Wan family to unparalleled glory, and even two figures later appeared, both comparable to the Ten War Gods of Daxia. The Shang Wan family is extremely old, but internally it is very pedantic. To put it simply, it favors sons over daughters. Shang Wanong's appearance was disguised with props. Several small bottles appeared in Yi Ching's hand and were handed to several people. There is a core of fog inside here. As long as you crush one, you can hide in the fog for ten minutes. Let's follow and take a look. Lin Kui used it directly, and his figure completely blended into the thick fog and disappeared. Hey, that's interesting. It feels so weird, like swimming naked. Others were a little hesitant when they heard this. Yi Ching entered the fog and disappeared, follow me. In front of the restaurant, a violent conflict broke out. Lu Heng holds the magic sword in his hand and is dueling with Yi Ling. A black divine dragon was flying beside Long Zan, with a spear in his hand dancing, and he was fighting with Chu Yang. They are all at the same level, they are all level 15, and have not completed the job transfer task. Everyone else is fighting, everyone's expression is fierce, and every move will kill someone. On the roof not far away, Yi Ching and several others watched this scene. Lin Kui whispered, why do I feel that they are not normal? They seem to be controlled. The first level of the trial is most likely prepared here. Yi Ching replied. Seeing someone lying unconscious in a pool of blood, Nangangru couldn't bear it, why don't we stop it? If this continues, more people will die. Yi Ching remained silent, while Morong Shui and Lin Kui had no reaction. Shang Wan Hong shook his head slightly, your family has protected you very well since you were a child. Suddenly, the scene changed dramatically. There are more and more monsters in the fog, and they are all gathering here. Join forces with people from the mist camp. Yi Ling was retreating steadily, her attention was very distracted, and she had to pay attention to the monsters in the fog. A cruel smile appeared on Lu Heng's lips, SSS level professional, nothing more than that. It will be your honor to die by my sword. A despicable and shameless person like you can actually awaken an SSS level profession. God is so blind, Yi Ling shouted angrily, and a ball appeared in his hand. Crush it directly and put a circular shield on her body. She no longer focuses on defense, but focuses more on attack. When Lu Heng saw this scene, he said, you are from a better background, so why are you so superior and saying that I should go to hell? The two men fought more intensely, using various ultimate moves one after another. On the other side, Long Zan rode a black divine dragon, dancing with a spear in his hand. He was not afraid of sneak attacks from monsters in the mist, as the dragon could completely block them. When Chu Yang saw this scene, his eyes burst out with ferocity, war spirit, possessed. His attributes became more powerful and even gained the upper hand. In the restaurant, a white-haired woman walked out of the restaurant. Although she was dressed in ordinary clothes, it could not hide her unparalleled youthfulness at all. A light appeared in his eyes, and a large group of nightmare spirits appeared in the distance to join the fight. Out of the mist, a mighty young man walked out, wearing white armor, looking at the Lord of Nightmares indifferently. Our fight has just begun. Come, fight with me. Misty, you are still like this after so many years. The Lord of Nightmares exuded a strange aura and flew up. The strange aura behind her was like a thread, becoming extremely sharp in an instant and attacking the Lord of Mist. A spear appeared in the Lord of Mist's hand, and the surrounding fog quickly gathered to form a white shield, resisting the attack. The attack speed of the Lord of Mist and the Lord of Nightmare became faster and faster, gradually disappearing into the thick fog. On top of that house, 
Yi Ching looked at the other people and said, You guys act according to the situation, I'm going to take a look. He rushed directly into the thick fog and disappeared. Lin Kui looked at the place where Yi Ching left, isn't it possible that Yi Zi went to pick it up and missed it? Wait until the two powerful bosses are both injured, and then kill them together. How is it possible? Even if the epic boss is weak, we can't break through the defense. Nan Gong Ru said. In front of the restaurant, countless buildings were reduced to ruins, and the battle continued. In the thick fog, Yi Ching watched the battle between the two sides. The Lord of Mists completely crushed the Lord of Nightmares. The blood volume of both sides is decreasing. Look at the properties of these two boos. Lord of the Mists Epic, Level 70. HP, 78 million. Lord of Nightmares Epic, Level 70. HP, 46 million, 75 million. The Lord of Nightmares is not in a perfect state. It is very likely that he has been injured before or encountered other things. Watching the two bosses fighting fiercely, Yi Ching stroked Xiao Bai and asked, How long can I control them too? Xiao Bai called twice. Two seconds. That's enough. The nine-tailed sky fox's charm skill can control monsters that are less charming than itself, but the stronger the strength, the shorter the control time. Yi Ching held the immortal killing gourd in his hand, and turned on the bright heart of the sword, the prehistoric holy body. Xuan Wang steps to the sky. Baby please turn around. A terrifying attack penetrated directly through the heaven and earth and locked on the Lord of Mist. The Lord of the Mist felt a huge death threat and roared, Who is it? Don't hide. In the mist, Yi Ching appeared in front of the two of them with a huge lightsaber under his feet. Goodbye, a mortal killing flying knife. The Lord of Mist shouted angrily, Even if I die, I will drag you to hell with me. Rushing towards Yi Ching quickly, the Lord of Nightmares froze on the spot, looking at Yi Ching in disbelief, how could you be so strong? No, this kind of strength is not yours, but that equipment's. Yi Ching caressed Xiao Bai, and the Lord of the Mist was immediately unable to move as the immortal decapitating flying knife passed by. Minus 600 million, the Lord of Mist died completely. It looked at the Lord of Nightmares and said its last words, I am so unwilling to do so. It was obviously me who met you first. Yi Ching received a prompt, Kill the epic boost Mist Lord and gain 66 million experience points. Choose to deposit 20 million into the sign-in system, and use the rest for upgrades. Congratulations on the upgrade. Congratulations on the upgrade. Your Fagian Yudian has been upgraded. Your Flying Sword Qixiao is upgraded. Your Fagian Zushan has been upgraded. Your Pet Nine-Tailed Fox has been upgraded. He was directly promoted to level 29. Several flying swords and Xiao Bai were also promoted to this level. Your flying sword Yudian has begun to advance. Your flying sword killing immortal has begun to advance. Yi Ching used the immortal killing gourd to collect the items dropped by the Lord of Mist, and was about to use the power of time and space to deal with the Lord of Nightmares. The Lord of Nightmares had tears falling from the corners of his eyes and sighed, why bother? Do you have any last words to say? If not, you can go on your way. Yi Ching was absolutely sure and used the power of time and space before the Lord of Nightmares attacked. Whether it's Xiao Bai's control skills or the three-second body dominance that comes with the invincible god realm. The Lord of Nightmares was surprisingly calm, I want to see my son before leaving, is that okay? Yi Ching was slightly stunned. The epic bosses he saw seemed to be very special and had human emotions. There is also the pursuit of self. Okay, but hurry up. I don't like waiting. The Lord of Nightmares smiled slightly, her beautiful face was a little pale, and she flew towards the restaurant. Yi Ching's eyes were indifferent, Boo's should be killed, and giving her this wish was already the maximum limit. The surrounding thick fog quickly dissipated, revealing the blue sky. Under the sunshine, everyone gradually woke up. Some people were still fighting in front of the restaurant. Looking at the surrounding scenes and the bloody weapons in their hands, they all looked confused. I, what did I do? I killed someone, someone said tremblingly. The strongest ones had faces full of exhaustion. Their mana had already bottomed out and they were just fighting with weapons. Several figures came from a distance, and Lin Kui said with emotion, you are all controlled by the bosses of your respective camps. Do you still remember the first round of trials? Perhaps it was prepared just for this. All of you were blinded by the benefits. In the end, no one got the rewards from the camp. 
At this moment, the Lord of Nightmares appeared in the sky and looked at everyone. Everyone is watching her warily, an epic boss, enough to kill everyone here. Unexpectedly, the Lord of Nightmares didn't look at them, and just flew into the only building that was not destroyed, the restaurant. At this moment, a dazzling sword light fell from the sky. Falling on the ruins, I didn't expect it to be like this. This place is called the Sea of Clouds Realm. We are really above the clouds. Lin Kui looked at the sky and the clouds under his feet, it's really amazing. Just then, a strong wind blew and the whole town began to twist. The entire town began to distort and disappear. Everyone looked at their feet. The ground turned completely white and felt as soft as stepping on marshmallows. There is only one building left on the spot, that is the restaurant. Lin Kui's face was full of shock, what's going on? The entire town is a dream created by the Lord of Nightmares. She has lifted the dream. Yi Ching explained. Everyone around has different expressions. There are only 24 hours left in the college entrance examination. Suddenly someone shouted, there are no corpses around. Could this be a dream too? It should be, those people should have been teleported out. I'm just telling you, this is the final college entrance examination. All the strongest geniuses in the country are here. How can someone die? Everyone was talking around, while Yi Ching walked towards the restaurant. Everyone else looked at Yi Ching curiously, what is he going to do? Is he going to challenge the Lord of Nightmares? Impossible, I guess I should change camp rewards. The Lord of the Mist was eliminated, and the camp points of everyone in the Mist camp were turned into experience. When Yi Ching entered the restaurant, the Lord of Nightmares and the commoner boy Zhang Fan were talking about something. I saw Yi Ching walking in. Zhang Fan opened his arms to block the Nightmare Lord, with tears streaming down his face, please, please don't kill my mother. Yi Ching looked at the Lord of Nightmares indifferently, and a terrifying aura surged out. Get out of the way, or I'll kill you too. The noise in the restaurant attracted everyone, who were watching from the window or outside the door. Does Yi Ching really want to kill the Lord of Nightmares? Even if the Lord of Nightmares is seriously injured, it is impossible to break through the defense. Not necessarily. If poison or special props are used, the Lord of Nightmares should be able to be killed. Lin Kui's eyes turned slightly red as he watched this scene. He knew that Yi Ching was good at using poison. But he didn't step forward to stop him. The temptation of an epic boss could make everyone crazy. Even if the dropped items are sold, they will still be rich. Yi Ching looked at everyone watching and said, I can give you a day. After saying that, he walked directly upstairs and returned to the room. The Nightmare Lord Mother and Son cried with joy and hugged each other directly. Everyone was moved when they saw this scene. There were no monsters or any pressure on this day. Everyone relaxed for a rare moment. At dusk, many tents were set up outside the restaurant. Everyone's nerves were tense in the fog, and it was rare to relax at this moment. On the first floor of the restaurant, Nangong Ru, Lin Kui and others were listening to the Lord of Nightmares telling what happened before. When the copy was born, two creatures became conscious. The Lord of Nightmares and the Lord of Mists. They lived in confusion for unknown years until someone entered here more than ten years ago. The epic level strength is so terrifying that they don't even need to take action, just the monsters they create can kill everyone. Until one day, she couldn't help but fall in love with an outsider named Zhang Xingtian. The two fell in love and got to know each other, and spent a period of time happily. As a result, she was discovered by the Lord of Mist. At that time, she had just given birth to her son and could not move. Zhang Xingtian fought with the Lord of Mist and disappeared in the end. Finally, the Lord of Mist came back, and she has been fighting against the Lord of Mist until now. Listening to what the Lord of Nightmares told, Lin Kui was shocked and asked curiously, you can still have children with humans. Is there no reproductive isolation? Everyone else looked at Lin Kui, what are you thinking about every day? On the second floor, Yi Ching was sitting at the window, chewing the blue spirit fruit in his hand. When he heard the name Zhang Xingtian, a strange color flashed in his eyes. I didn't expect that he would have such a romantic past. It seems that my plan is about to change. The name Zhang Xingtian, more than ten years later, has become a household name. He walked out of the strange and mysterious realm, and finally defeated the gods in the abyss, unscathed. But at this time, he is still missing. 
Yi Ching thought over and over again and decided to keep the Nightmare Lord alive for the time being. Starting to take stock of the harvest, the current level has reached level 29-39%. Yu Dian and Zhu Shan advanced successfully and are now at the green level. After level 20 advancement, the attributes added by upgrading the two flying swords will be doubled directly. The attributes attached to Yudian are quite normal. The additional attack attribute of the Zushan sword has reached an abnormal level. If Yi Ching does not wear the Zushan sword, his basic attack will be weakened by about one-third. Check out the items dropped by the Lord of the Mists. Mist Core Epic, an extremely special material. Mist Armor Epic can be worn at level 60. Fog God Gun Epic can be worn at level 60. Seven Color Mist God Flower Seed Myth can be eaten directly, all basic attributes plus 200, if eaten after successful planting, all basic attributes plus 1000, attack speed plus 50%, movement speed plus 50%, skill release speed plus 50%. Special Map The Lord of the Mist stole it from a man named Zhang Xingtian. It internally records a vast and boundless world with countless opportunities. It will be automatically opened after level 50. Yi Ching put away the first few items. The core of the mist could be used as formation materials. The other two pieces are temporarily unavailable and will be thrown into the immortal killing gourd to eat ashes. Looking at the last two items, the seven color mist flower and the special map. Yi Ching had a headache, where can I plant it safely? Let's think about it later. This map records unexplored large scale dungeons. Go look for them when you reach the level. Zhang Xingtian is indeed not simple, every item on his body is a good thing. Quote. Yi Ching's eyes lit up, and he planned to rob him completely in the future when he had the strength, as a reward for letting his wife and children go. Downstairs, Lin Kui and Morong Shui looked sad. The big boss they had to fight now was Yi Ching. We have to find a way to stop Yi Ching, otherwise the Lord of Nightmares will be too pitiful. Nangong Ru held the teacup in her hand and looked at the other people. Several SSS level professionals, as well as those with hidden professions, are all here. Morong Shui, Long Zan, Chu Yang, Yi Ling, Sheng Guan Hong, and Lu Heng are all sitting here. Lin Kui looked at the few people, I feel that even if you go together, you are no match for Yi Zi. You don't know how powerful he is. He can use swords, poison, and is good at making all kinds of weird things. There are so many of us, no matter how strong Yi Ching is, he can be much better than us, let's fight. Long Zan said unconvinced. Suddenly, several people heard very clear footsteps. Yi Ching walked down step by step, it seems like someone is looking for me and wants to challenge me, right? The surrounding atmosphere became quiet. We just don't want you to kill the Lord of Nightmares, and she doesn't do anything to us. Nangong Ru glared at Yi Ching. What did you say when you rescued the five color koi in Kanglin River? What is the difference between you and those people now? Lin Kui was dealing with both sides, Yi Zi, we haven't thought about anything. Nangong Ru, please stop saying a few words. Yi Ching glanced at several people, go outside the restaurant and let you see how big the difference in strength is. After that, he walked out. The others looked at each other, and Long Zan followed him unconvinced, I don't believe the gap is that big. If you die, you will just be eliminated. The Lord of Nightmares appears here, there is a high probability that you are no match for him, so forget it. Nangong Ru smiled and clapped her hands, don't worry, let's knock him out, so you'll be safe. Everyone came outside the restaurant, no longer blocked by the fog. A bright moon hangs high in the sky, surrounded by stars, and the scene is particularly beautiful. Yi Ching stood in the distance with his back to everyone. Others were awakened by the noise and saw several of the strongest people walking in one direction. What are they going to do? Are they going to compete? Let's go and see. The duel between SSS level professionals is very exciting and should not be missed. Everyone who was still in the dungeon went to watch the excitement and automatically gave up an open space. Yi Ching turned his head and looked at a few people, I'm already level 29, you'd better go up together. When people around him heard this, they were all shocked, what, Yi Ching is already level 29, I'm only level 13. I'm level 14, which is higher than you. Who asked you to compare with me? Why don't you compare with Yi Ching? Hey, I'm still one level higher than you. Ah, the student was furious and incompetent. 
he couldn't beat him again and again, so he could only endure it alone. In the open space, two divine dragons flew out, one black and one white. Although they were both young dragons, their momentum was not weak at all. A statue of the ice and snow goddess appeared behind Morong Shui, and the surrounding temperature dropped rapidly. Shang Wan Hong disappeared into the night in an instant, looking for an opportunity to kill with one strike. A huge fighting spirit appeared behind Chu Yang, riding a white horse and holding a spear. He was very heroic. Liu Heng looked at Yi Qing firmly, this time, I won't lose again. A huge lightsaber appeared, covered with black patterns. Lin Kui watched from a distance, feeling a little bitter. Facing these people, he had no chance of victory. Yi Qing turned around and said, the skills are not bad, but that's all. He clapped his hands, and countless sword marks rose up from the ground all around, turning into stars all over the sky, star sword formation. Countless stars rushed towards these people, colliding with everyone's ultimate moves. Directly disperse their ultimate moves, and then the stars disappear. At this moment, a figure rushed out from beside Yi Qing, and Shang Wan Hong stabbed Yi Qing with a dagger in his hand. A bagua pattern appeared to resist Shang Wan Hong. Yi Qing stroked Xiao Bai, it's boring. Control them and go back to sleep. Xiao Bai looked at the mythical young dragon over there, tilted his head, and his eyes flashed. All the stars turned into starlight and dissipated in the sky. Yi Qing, what did you do? Why can't I move? Nan Gong Ru shouted. Several other people also stopped. Yi Qing walked away directly, the control will be released in a few minutes. You are too weak, I don't even bother to draw my sword. There was a roar from the crowd around, you can control the skill for a few minutes. This is a magical skill. I can't believe that Yi Qing's profession is sword immortal. It sounds extremely lethal. Now that he has control skills, he is invincible. Looking at the few people who were standing still, the others couldn't bring themselves to have any bad thoughts. Everyone has a profound background. Even Morong Shui and Liu Hang, who have no background, are already accepted as disciples by strong men. After a few minutes, everyone's control was released and they looked at the restaurant in frustration. In the end, everyone had their own thoughts and returned to their respective rooms. The moon sets and the stars sink, and the sun rises. The next morning, everything was so peaceful. In the backyard of the restaurant, Yi Qing and the Lord of Nightmares sat opposite each other. Yi Qing said calmly, I changed my mind, I don't need to kill you. Really, I don't believe you have such good intentions. The Lord of Nightmares watched Yi Qing's every move, his eyes turning from time to time, thinking about the reason. Give me the rest of the camp rewards, and I may consider letting you go. Hearing Yi Qing's words, the Lord of Nightmares directly agreed without any hesitation that these things would not be of great help to her. After putting away a lot of things, Yi Qing looked at them and found three legendary long swords, all of which were level 30. There were also many strange materials, which Yi Qing was of great use in setting up formations and refining poisons. Yi Qing just wanted to leave. The Lord of Nightmares stopped Yi Qing, I guess you should know Zhang Xingtian. If you see him in the future, please tell him everything about this place. After saying that, he threw an object directly towards Yi Qing. Yi Qing reached out to catch it, the future is uncertain because there are too many things. Don't blame me if you don't need it. Yi Qing stepped up his pace. This woman was so smart. She had lived for who knows how many years and met many people from the time she was born in the copy to now. Even though it was innocent at first, now his thoughts have become unfathomable. After returning to the room, look at the items in your hands. Seed of Dreams Myth The seed transformed from the most innocent dream of the Lord of Nightmares. Swallow it directly to gain charm plus 300 and luck plus 300. Swallow the flower after it blooms, charm plus 1200, luck plus 1200, and be blessed by sweet dreams. Yi Qing took the seed and checked its properties. Xiao Bai wanted to swallow it in one gulp. Yi Qing comforted him, don't worry, it will be better if you eat it when it is ripe. Xiao Bai nodded and sat down quietly. In the backyard of the restaurant, Zhang Fan looked at the Lord of Nightmares, Mother, can Yi Qing really find his father? A person like him looks cold on the outside, but is actually hot inside. Don't worry. The Lord of Nightmares smiled and patted Zhang Fan on the shoulder. Starting tomorrow, I will teach you how to become stronger. Zhang Fan was overjoyed, really? That's great. 
There were more and more people on the first floor of the restaurant, and it was extremely noisy. They were all talking about the battle last night and their desire for the outside world. As expected, the top candidate in this year's college entrance examination will be Yi Cheng. Definitely, no doubt about it. We can go out in three hours. It's too hard in this dungeon. It's okay. The first two days were really difficult, but I also made tremendous growth. Morong Shui and Nan Gong Ru looked anxious, what on earth is Yi Ching thinking about? Isn't he awake? Impossible, I guess he may have changed his mind. I saw him talking to the Lord of Nightmares in the backyard this morning. Lin Kui drank tea, leisurely. That's good. As time passed, at one o'clock in the afternoon, everyone turned into light and disappeared into the copy. Outside a peculiar building at Kyoto University. The place was crowded with people, who were all marveling at the light curtain. First, Yi Ching, level 29. Second, Yi Ling, level 16. Third, Dragon War, level 16. Fourth, Morong Shui, level 15. The Nightmare Camp Wan, the weak side won. How did Yi Ching do it? Did he assist the Lord of Nightmares in killing the Lord of Mist? Lu He held a notebook in his hand and calculated the data. The experience gained from assisting in killing epic level bosses is similar to the level Yi Ching reached. There were several teachers from top universities and heads of major families in the surrounding crowd. Some students who were eliminated from the dungeon are also waiting. Rays of light came from the building, and people came out one after another. In the formation, Yi Ching's figure appeared. After everyone exits the building, teachers from three top universities looked at these students. The list will be announced below. Daxia Military Academy, Chu Yang, Lu Hang, Lin Kui. Modu University, Shengguan Hong, Long Zan. Kyoto University, Yi Cheng, Morong Shui, Yi Ling, Nangong Ru. The top scorer in this college entrance examination is Yi Cheng. Yi Cheng stood in the crowd and received a system prompt complete the task and get a special sign in opportunity. Yi Ching was not surprised at all when he heard Lin Kui's results, but his future became increasingly confusing. The results of the others were also expected. Chu Yang and Lu Hang were not determined, so they were forcibly admitted to the Daxia Military Academy. Lin Kui, who was standing aside, was excited when he heard that he had been admitted to the Daxia Military Academy. Students from the three universities formed three teams. The students admitted to the Demon City University and the students admitted to the Daxia Military Academy were taken away directly by teachers from their respective universities. Lin Kui waved his hands among the crowd and said goodbye to Yi Cheng. Several teachers from Kyoto University gave everyone admission information and allocated residences. Yi Cheng followed one of the teachers to a high-rise building and was assigned to a room. The decoration inside is exquisite and the place is quite large, but Yi Ching is not very satisfied. Lu He stood outside the door and walked in directly. It's not bad here, just stay here for now. After you get merit points, you can change to a better place. Yi Ching was a little confused, can you tell me in detail? What are you going to do at Kyoto University? In the first year, the next dungeon will be organized every week. There will be two combat courses and two theoretical courses. Lu He adjusted his glasses and looked a little weird. But with the special approval of the old dean, you can do whatever you want, and you can even take on various tasks directly. Completing tasks will earn you merit points, which can be exchanged for various items. Quote. Yi Ching sat on the sofa, listening to Lu He talk about Kyoto University. Liu He told all kinds of things about Kyoto University in great detail. Just when he was about to leave, he seemed to think of something, and then he turned around. By the way, you are on the great summer list. I will send the specific information to your mobile phone. After saying that, he directly opened the door and left here. The little fox was grabbing the sofa at the side, and Yi Ching was slightly stunned. Big summer list. Of course he knew what this meant. People of S level and above in the entire Daxia could enter the heavenly ranking and must be under 25 years old. Yi Ching looked around the house and began to draw formation patterns out of habit, neither defensive nor offensive. It's some auxiliary formations. There are countless strong people at Kyoto University, and safety can still be guaranteed. Turn on the TV, the news is playing on it. 
There are so many talented people this year, it can be said to be rare in a century, and Yi Ching, the top scorer in the college entrance examination, is a monster level genius. In less than a month, we reached level 29. A picture of Yi Ching appeared on the TV. He was very calm, with a little fox lying on his shoulder. Then he started talking about Yi Ching's career and other things. Other SSS level professionals and hidden professionals also told the story. Turning off the TV, Yi Ching looked at the sign in system 2310 over 1 million. I still feel that if I don't sign in for the time being, these are still too few. Suddenly, the mobile phone charging nearby made a series of sounds. Yi Ching took the phone, which contained a series of information, including a map of Kyoto and copies of the surrounding areas. The detailed map of Kyoto University and various information are very detailed. Yi Ching clicked on the one he was most interested in, the Great Summer God List and the Great Summer List. The Great Sha God List is the strongest person in Great Sha, and the top 10 are the Great Sha 10 Gods of War. First, Xuanyuan Po, Occupation, Sword God. Second, Dragon Lord, Occupation, Dragon Envoy. Third, Yi Ching Kang, Occupation, God of War. Fourth, Ling Yu, Occupation, Yin Yang Warlock. Yi Ching closed the Divine List. He was still a little far away from that realm. The top 10 on the Divine List were all at rank 8. According to the information obtained by Yi Ching in his previous life, the peak of rank 7 is level 300. After completing the job transfer task, there is no level division at rank 8. Opening the Great Summer Ranking, Yi Ching checked it. This list basically completes the comprehensive ranking of various major events, as well as levels, professions, and combat power. First, Xiaoyao, level, 119, profession, Heavenly Master. Record, one person killed 12 level 100 legendary bosses without losing any blood. Second, Jun Qian, level, 118, occupation, undead monarch. Achievements, killed a level 50 epic booze with an army of undead. Until the 22nd place, it was Yi Ching's name. No, 22. Yi Ching, level, 29, occupation, red dust sword immortal. Event, top scorer in the college entrance examination. Assist the level 70 epic boost nightmare lord and kill the level 70 epic boost mist lord. Yi Ching turned off his phone, do they actually think so? I assisted in killing the Lord of the Mist. Forget it, I'm too lazy to explain. I opened the door and planned to go to the cafeteria. I almost vomited after eating the blue spirit fruit in the past few days. Yi Ching was walking in Kyoto University. It covers a large area and the surrounding environment is very exquisite. It is divided into several large areas, the combat department, the auxiliary department, and the research department. Those in the research department are relatively special life professionals and have no combat effectiveness. Yi Ching walked through a building and came to the cafeteria. It was dusk now, and there were many people eating in the canteen. Yi Ching was seen entering the canteen. The eyes of everyone around were focused on him. This year's top scorer in the college entrance examination is very famous, and his appearance is well known to many people. Yi Ching ordered two portions of rice at a window and went to a deserted corner to eat. Gave one to the little fox. Ignoring the gazes of others, Yi Ching thought about that special copy and some opportunities near Kyoto. Yi Ling came from outside the cafeteria and sat opposite Yi Ching, her delicate face full of complex expressions. I want to ask you to go to the hospital with me. Yi Ching frowned when he heard this. What do you mean? You suspect that I am related to the Yi family. There are many people named Yi in the world. Yi Ling was speechless for a moment, her eyes were a little flustered, and her white face was flushed with anxiety. It only takes a few minutes, very quickly. Yi Ching finished the meal quickly, I don't have that much free time. Get up and leave directly, walking out of the cafeteria door. Yi Ling also had a look of helplessness on her face. Suddenly her eyes lit up and she started looking around Yi Ching's seat. On the table, a hair is very obvious on the white tabletop. Great, I can go on a mission this time. Yi Ling patted his chest and breathed a sigh of relief. Leave the cafeteria and walk towards the hospital on Kyoto University campus. Outside the cafeteria, Yi Ching watched Yi Ling leave. He left his hair on purpose. He actually doesn't know whether he has anything to do with the Yi family in Kyoto. 
In his previous life, he never left Zhongbei City until his death. Yi Qing caressed Xiao Bai, use illusion to cover my figure. Xiao Bai shouted, and Yi Qing's figure completely disappeared on the spot. He followed Yi Ling to the Kyoto University Hospital and watched Yi Ling walk into the hospital. Yi Qing's eyes turned cold, I hope it's not hatred. The sun sets, the sky becomes darker and darker, among the dark grass. Yi Ling looked at the several reports and test tubes in his hand, his expression full of disbelief. Just as he was about to leave here, a hand in the darkness grabbed his neck and dragged her into the darkness. Yi Qing threw Yi Ling aside. After taking one of the test tubes and several reports, Yi Qing left directly. You, you are Yi Qing. Yi Ling shouted, a little confused as to why Yi Qing did this and made it so troublesome. Above the sky, Zhao Chenkin and a burly old man watched this scene. This kid has a really weird personality. The burly old man laughed, a glimmer of light flashed in his eyes, and he modified some things unknowingly. Zhao Chenkin was very reserved when facing this man, how is the war over there in the abyss? Why did you take the time to come back? This burly old man is Yi Qingkang, who is ranked third on the Great Sha God list. He is extremely powerful in combat. It's not a big problem. I don't know why during this period, the god-level monsters in the abyss are very quiet. Zhao Chenkin looked down, after investigation, Yi Qing has been an orphan since he was a child. He was abandoned in the wilderness of Zhongbei City as a child. He was picked up by the city defense army and then sent to an orphanage. Also, his life is very ordinary, but his personality is very withdrawn. There is only so much that can be investigated at present. Yi Qingkang nodded and said without any doubt, there is no need to investigate, he is my descendant. Zhao Chenkin stopped talking. Although he had all kinds of doubts in his heart, this was a demigod-level expert and he would not be stupid enough to say it to his face. He is just a level 307th level peak person. Although he is only one level behind, the gap in strength is huge. The demigod has initially controlled the power of God and is no longer on the same level. After completing the job transfer task at level 300, you will reach level 8, also known as demigod, and level 9 as a true god. Currently, the strongest person in Blue Star is the demigod. True gods can only be found in foreign lands, abyss, and super large dungeons. When Yi Qing returned to his residence, formation patterns appeared in his hands, and the test tubes storing his hair were instantly burned. There are too many weird professions in this world, and it would be bad if you were cursed or something like that. Sitting on the sofa, looking at several reports in front of me. There was some hesitation. Even if Yi Qing faced a stronger enemy, he would not hesitate at all. But at this moment, his heart was confused. When a lonely, cold soul feels warmth, the first choice is often not to accept it calmly, but to escape. He suffered too much in his previous life, and it was difficult to express his sadness to others. Yi Qing seemed to have made up his mind, and said to himself with a wry smile, we have to stay in Kyoto for a long time, we still have to face it. With trembling hands, I picked up a few report sheets and read them. Yi Tianxing and Yi Qing have 99.99% .99 genetic similarity. Nangong Ya, Yi Ling, Yi Qing let out a long breath, I didn't expect the result to be like this, forget it. Formation patterns appeared in his hands, and several report sheets turned into ashes. That night, Yi Qing tossed and turned for a long time, and finally fell into a deep sleep. In the south of Kyoto, in a luxurious manner, it is the most central building. The three people sat opposite each other, and Yi Ling told everything, that's what happened. He took away the report sheet and his hair, and then left without turning his head. Sitting opposite her were her parents, a heroic man with an extremely powerful aura that he exuded inadvertently. There is also a somewhat feminine woman. Nandong Ya's eyes were dull, maybe he is not willing to accept it. We can take our time. Yi Tianxing nodded, with a smile on his lips, if you want Yi Qing to join the Yi family, you can only use this method, bonding with family ties. He is an orphan, so this kind of relationship is strong. At this moment, there was a coughing sound outside the door, and Yi Qingkang appeared outside the door. Several people stood up one after another, and Yi Tianxing shouted respectfully, Grandpa Zhu, why are you back? Secretly protecting Yi Qing, and by the way, the news spread that he is the eldest son of the Yi family. By then, 
everyone will think that Yi Ching is the eldest son of the Yi family, and he will naturally become a member of the Yi family. Yi Ching Kang said loudly, holding two stone beads in his hand. Yes, the next morning, Yi Ching woke up and immediately forgot about what happened yesterday. Opening the dungeon distribution near Kyoto, I looked at a dungeon marked with a red insert and a line of small words. Ching's Hao A Dungeon. You can enter it if you are below level 50. From the time it was discovered to now, most of the professionals who entered it have died. The few professionals who come out are either crazy or stupid. The internal situation is unknown and entry is not recommended. Yi Ching looked at this location and said, That's right, it's right here. There are rewards for career advancement cards inside. But I don't plan to enter directly now. I'm looking at my level of 29, 61%. The internal situation is unknown, so it is better to upgrade to level 30, put on the epic suit, and then collect the nine flying swords before you can enter. Yi Ching looked at the sign-in system, and there was also a special sign-in obtained from the college entrance examination. Start special check-in. Sign in successfully and obtain the Zushan Sword Formation Diagram. Zushan Sword Formation Diagram equipment can be grown. Introduction. The core of the Zushan Sword Formation was damaged in an earth-shattering battle. The internal weapon spirits were sacrificed and partially repaired. The attributes of the Zushan Sword are plus 25%. Skill. Zushan Sword Formation disabled. 4 over 1, use the Zushan Sword and 3 Flying Swords of the same level to form a Zushan Sword Formation, bursting out infinite killing sword energy, causing 999 attacks per second, except for 4 people who exceed their own attributes. Unbreakable. Cooling time is 24 hours. Yi Ching looked at the properties of the Zushan Sword Formation and swallowed. This was too perverted. If he activates the Sword Heart Translucency in the Ancient Holy Body, as well as the additional skills of the Immortal Killing Gourd and the Invincible Heart, all the amplifying skills will be activated at once. With 999 attacks per second, Yi Ching calculated the damage. He estimated that even a mythical boost wouldn't be able to withstand it for a few seconds. The most important thing is that this is the initial form and can continue to grow. Yi Ching asked the Zushan Sword Formation to identify its master and drop a drop of blood. What surprised him was that this equipment did not appear in any equipment slot. Instead, it penetrated directly into Yi Ching's body, and a strange tattoo appeared on his back. Yi Ching stroked the tattoo on his back without feeling anything. Now there are two most special pieces of equipment, the Immortal Killing Sword Formation and the Immortal Killing Gourd, both of which have extremely lethal skills. However, the cooling time is too long, so it can only be used as a trump card. Yi Ching walked out of the room. Today he was planning to go to a replica inside Kyoto University, the Fallen Leaves Plain. It's just an ordinary level 40 dungeon, but Yi Ching figured that by clearing this dungeon, he would be able to upgrade. I walked out of the room and had a hearty meal in the cafeteria of Kyoto University, packing dozens of meals. Anyway, it won't go bad if you put it in the Immortal Killing Gourd. Nandong Ru walked directly towards him and saw Yi Ching smiling brightly. Today is the first theory class of the combat department, you don't plan to go. Yi Ching shook his head, I won't go. Walk directly towards the entrance of Fallen Leaf Plain. Nandong's soft eyes looked at Yi Ching's back, you're still so unkind. Ah, no, I'm going to be late. She didn't even plan to eat breakfast and ran directly to the combat department classroom. Yi Ching arrived at the entrance to the Fallen Leaf Plain's dungeon. There were several students standing here, all from the support department. The young seniors who were still full of youth came forward enthusiastically when they saw Yi Ching arriving, will the classmates form a team? Yi Ching shook his head slightly, no need, I'm used to being alone. He walked directly into the formation and disappeared. The surrounding scenery changed rapidly, and we came to a grassland, surrounded by a large area of cattle and sheep grazing, very leisurely. Yi Ching was a little surprised. Could it be that like a slime, it's a monster that doesn't actively attack people? Of course not, these are kept in captivity at Kyoto University, and the meat in our cafeteria comes from here. A dark-looking young man wearing a straw hat came from not far away. He explained to Yi Ching, this is a safe zone, and the monsters are all deep in the fallen leaf plains. Yi Ching nodded, thanks for letting me know. It's okay. The dark-haired young man was a little surprised. 
Yi Ching was not as arrogant as other combat professionals, which made him like him a little more. Seeing a huge lightsaber appear under Yi Ching's feet, rising directly into the sky and flying into the distance, he had a look of envy on his face. I didn't expect that Kyoto University actually started a ranch in the dungeon. That student must be a professional. Yi Ching sat on the flying sword, with sword marks appearing continuously behind him, following behind him. A group of fierce horses galloped in the distance, with flames burning on their backs. Yi Ching threw an exploration technique. Fire Horse. Level 40. I know it's a monster this time, so I'm no longer polite. All the sword marks flew towards the horses, harvesting lives among them. Kill the flaming horse and gain 1,600 experience points. A steady stream of reminders appeared, and Yi Ching's experience bar slowly increased. To kill these monsters, you can kill them instantly without even turning on the sword heart transparency. Just when Yi Ching was killing monsters in the dungeon, a class in the combat department of Kyoto University. A hot female teacher was named Luo Chu, and she was the teacher in charge of class 1 of the combat department. Nandong Ru opened the classroom door directly, Teacher, I'm sorry, I'm late. It's okay, I won't do it next time. Nandong Ru found a seat and sat down, muttering in a low voice, there are only two classes in the combat department, which is smaller than the number of people in high school. At this moment, the teacher called her name, and Nandong Ru quickly replied, here. Yi Cheng. After a long time, no one responded. Luo Chu frowned on the podium and said, it's too shameful. Even if you have the privilege, you can't not come on the first day. She still wrote down Yi Ching's strokes in her small notebook. In the deepest part of the fallen leaf plain, five flying swords were suspended behind Yi Ching. In front of him, a monster three to four meters tall roared at Yi Ching. Silver Wolf King Lord Level 45. HP, 170,000. Attack, 1200. Defense, 510. Skills, watching the moon, howling, sharp claws, summoning a pack of wolves. Yi Ching took hold of the Zushan sword and, slaying the sky and drawing the sword technique. A terrifying sword energy flew out, killing the Silver Wolf King instantly. Congratulations on the upgrade, Yi Ching's eyes lit up, not bad, I just reached level 30. The dungeon boss is dead and will be refreshed automatically after 24 hours. You can leave the dungeon at any time. So that's it. No wonder cattle and sheep are being raised in this dungeon. Yi Ching sighed. Leave the dungeon directly and come to the entrance of the dungeon. Several auxiliary professionals, still waiting to form a team, saw Yi Ching coming out so quickly. You came out less than an hour after you went in. Yi Ching nodded, I have something else to do, so I'm leaving. Several people looked at each other and looked at Yi Ching's leaving figure. Isn't he Yi Ching, the top scorer in this year's college entrance examination? Yes, today seems to be the time for their roll call. Yi Ching must be too hasty. His teacher seems to be that female devil. She is not easy to mess with. Yi Ching is finished. Yi Ching returned to his residence. Even though he knew about these things, he didn't really care. Take out the strange doctor suit and the three legendary long swords obtained from the Lord of Nightmares. The properties of the strange doctor suit completely crushed the poisonous spider suit. Yi Ching replaced the poisonous spider suit and put the three legendary long swords into the sky sword box. Attributes have also experienced a huge increase. View the properties panel. Professional. Yi Ching. Level. Level 30. Occupation. Red Dust Sword Immortal, Zan Huang Tzun, Actor. Sub-professions. Evil Doctor, Array Mage. HP. 96,950-95,950. Blue amount, 92,092 Physical attack, 32,489. Magic attack, 21,900. Strength, 455 plus 10,530. Intelligence, 490 plus 8,710. Agility, 440 plus 7,585. Physique, 440 plus 9,255. Special Attributes, Charm, 205. Lucky, 206. Talents, Power of Time and Space. Sword Heart Transparency SSS Level, Ancient Holy Body SSS Level, Acting D Level. Skills, 
Red Dust Sword Technique LV4 Sky Destroying Sword Technique LV5 Illusion God Sword Technique LV3 Invincible Divine Realm LV1 Black and Yellow Sky Steps LV2 Death Resistance Advanced Exploration Technique Red Dust Sword Controlling Technique LV5 Each attack causes 260% damage to oneself, can control 9 flying swords, the critical hit rate increases by 38%, and the sword control distance is 900 meters. Sky Destroying Sword Drawing Technique LV6 Consumes 14% Mana, creates a circular sword energy with a radius of 120 meters, causes 1060% damage, and has a cooldown time of 2 seconds. Invincible God's Domain LV2 No Consumption, it ignores any spell damage after being turned on, its own defense is increased by 300%, and its speed is increased by 300%. Xuanwang Sky Step LV3 There is no life or death. When rushing towards the enemy, the speed is increased by 150%, the defense is increased by 150%, the attack is increased by 150%, and the body enters the hegemonic state for 3.5 seconds. Passive Skills Combination of Human and Sword, Copper Skin and Iron Bones, Indestructible Body, Mortal Sword, Black and Yellow Indestructible Body. Special Effects Skills One Sword of Light and Cold 19 Continents, Sword Marks, Sword Light. Invincible Spirit Equipment Babel Sword Box, Strange Doctor Suit, Poison Spider Mask, Skylight Necklace, Immortal Killing Gourd, Phantom Mirror, Immortal Killing Sword Formation. Yi Ching looked at his attribute panel. The improvement was huge, as well as the several flying swords in the sword box. The flying swords obtained from the Lord of Nightmares are three legendary long swords, namely Nightmare, Wind Spirit, and Dawn. There is still one flying sword missing. If there is a chance to replace Xie Wu, we will be missing two. Yi Ching now has no interest in ordinary long swords. Preferably legendary or epic level. Of course, it would be better if there is a long sword that can grow, but there are too few equipment that can grow, and there are even fewer swords. Yi Ching walked out of the room and planned to go to the auction house in Kyoto to find two long swords suitable for him. Turning on the phone, at 12.30 noon, I looked at the pitiful Xiaobai beside me. Well, let's go after dinner. He took out two portions of food from the immortal killing gourd and started eating by himself. This tastes really good. It may have been made by a professional chef, and his talent must be very good. Yi Ching made up his mind to go to the cafeteria to pack more food, so that he could download the dungeon for a long time and eat blue spirit fruits and red blood fruits every day. After eating and drinking, I walked out of the room. Leave Kyoto University directly and go to the equipment store and auction. The largest trade fair in Kyoto is bustling with people and noisy all around. I'm telling you. My equipment is incredible. It has killed level 100 legendary bosses. Cheaper. The properties are good, but it's too expensive. Yi Ching walked among the crowd and looked at the two people bargaining. It is a legendary long sword that requires level 100 to equip. Yi Ching turned around and left. The equipment store was different from jars and treasure chests. The properties of the equipment here were all transparent, so it was impossible to miss them. Wandering around the stalls, Suddenly there was a commotion in the distance. What? It turned out to be mythical equipment, such a big deal from Shuntian Auction House. Yi Ching curiously walked to the front, where a huge poster covered the entire wall. Shuntian Auction House is holding a huge auction tonight, and the final item is a piece of mythical equipment. Isn't this over-promotion? How can I sell mythical equipment? Probably not. Shuntian Auction House is very famous throughout Daxia. I really want to go see the excitement tonight. I've never seen even a few pieces of epic level equipment, let alone mythical level equipment. It's hard to get a single ticket at the Shuntian auction house tonight. It's okay, there must be a big screen live broadcast outside, I can just watch it from outside. Yi Ching listened to everyone's discussion, it seems that I am going to the auction to join in the fun. Sunchan auction house is at the end of this street. It is an extremely magnificent building. There were several people standing at the door, constantly receiving various guests. Yi Ching came to the door, and a beautiful woman with a hot figure, wearing professional clothes and very heavy makeup came over. He said in a cooing voice, Little brother, where is your ticket? Otherwise, you won't be able to get in. I want to sell something, take me to identify the items. 
Yi Ching said calmly. Okay, come with me. Yi Ching followed her into the auction house and came to a wide and bright hall. An old man with glasses was sitting behind the table, flipping through a shabby book in his hand. Now, let's go find Mr. Li. He is the only appraiser here. The beautiful woman receiving the guests looked at the old man and stood aside waiting. Yi Ching came to the front of the old man, and a spear appeared in his hand, which was dropped by the Lord of Mist. The spear was placed on the table and made a dull sound. Help me take a look at this equipment. If possible, auction it tonight. Mr. Li, the appraiser, looked at the attributes of the spear and then looked at Yi Ching's appearance, as if he recognized Yi Ching. Sure enough, he has a formidable background. He killed the Lord of the Mist at a young age, but you are sure to auction this spear. Yi Ching nodded, that's right. Okay, Mr. Li, the appraiser, turned on his phone and sent a message. Then he looked at the woman waiting on the side and said, Xiao Lu, take him to the VIP room at Tianzi No. 9. Okay, this guest, please come with me. She was much more polite to Yi Ching. When we arrived at the VIP room upstairs, it was very luxuriously decorated. Through the transparent glass, we could see the huge venue, which was still empty. Yi Ching sat on the sofa and looked at the venue below. The little fox jumped off his shoulders and lay quietly aside. This guest, the auction will start in an hour and a half. Do you need any other services? Yi Ching looked at the woman in front of him with a very charming look, threw her a piece of lord equipment, and said indifferently, I want to be quiet for a while, I don't need you anymore. As the woman left, the VIP room was silent, and Yi Ching held a blank piece of paper in his hand. On July 1st, in Linhai City near Kyoto, a dungeon overlap phenomenon will occur. A large dungeon will merge with the entire city, and people in the entire city will fall into panic, with countless casualties. On July 12th, in the slums of Kyoto, the God Research Laboratory was just getting started, and the initiator fell into a state of pathological paranoia. On July 30th, the coast of Jongnan Province was an emergency. A level 200 epic booze appeared and destroyed many cities. The southern army of Daxia suffered heavy losses and eventually killed the booze. Yi Ching tapped his fingers on the table, looking at the major events that were going to happen in the near future. It was now 4.30 p.m. on June 21. Forget it, let's talk about it after we get out of the Qingzhaui dungeon. As time passed, there were some people on the seats below. Inside Shuntian Auction House, things gradually became lively. Everyone is discussing the finale item, that mythical level equipment. The lights in other VIP rooms also lit up one after another. The windows in the VIP room are somewhat special. The outside is very clear from the inside, but the situation inside cannot be seen from the outside at all. On the high platform, Mr. Lee, the appraiser, stood directly up and said, Welcome to Shuntian Auction House to support us. The auction begins now. The surroundings suddenly became silent, everyone was waiting for Mr. Lee to take out the first item. Mr. Lee clapped his hands, and a huge light screen appeared behind him, displaying the properties of the items. The first item is the egg of a two-headed monster snake. It was born by a level 150 lord. It has great potential. The starting price is now 1.2 million. There was a sudden commotion all around, the first item is so good, I'll pay 1.5 million. Everyone around began to make offers. Yi Ching was sitting in the VIP room with two boxes of lunch in front of him, showing no interest in this item. Xiao Bai ate another box of lunch, glanced at the pet egg with disdain, and continued eating. The next few items are all legendary level equipment, but there is no long sword. Yi Ching was also helpless. It wasn't that he didn't want to sign in, but that this thing was too random. There are still more than 20 million experience points and four directional sign-in opportunities. If you are unlucky, it is equivalent to four wooden swords. The auction was still in full swing, and an item appeared on the light screen. Everyone present was shocked. How can something like this appear at an auction? Who dares to buy it? Yeah, I feel like the shoot is going to be aborted. This treasure chest was obtained from the depths of the Wanbao Cliff copy, but the original owner does not want to risk opening it. The starting price is 500,000. Mr. Liu introduced the items, but there was still no one around to quote. The treasure chests are too uncertain in terms of the items they will give you. 
If you get whiteboard equipment, you will suffer a big loss. Logically speaking, treasure chests should not be put up for auction. It seems that the origin of this treasure chest should be fine. Yi Ching looked at the treasure box in the VIP room, why does the pattern on it look so familiar? Start quoting directly, 50,000. There was silence all around, no one was robbing. As the small hammer in Mr. Liu's hand fell, okay, deal. The auction continued after that, and Yi Ching purchased several strange materials one after another. Peach God Petals Legendary can be used to prepare medicines. Swallowing them directly can restore 12% of mana. Meteoric Iron Legendary can be used to forge equipment and create props. Moon Hidden Flower Legend It blooms under the bright moon and is extremely beautiful. When the flower buds bloom, it can make people fall into hallucinations. The value of these things was not very high, and others were not very interested, so Yi Ching accepted them all. As for some other legendary equipment, Yi Ching didn't like them at all. The auction is gradually coming to an end, and the light curtain on the high platform is transforming items. Mr. Liu's voice became passionate, now let's start the auction of the five final items. The crowd around him also became excited and looked forward to it. The Fog God Gun is a level 70 epic weapon. It's up to you to see its attributes. The starting price is 48 million. The light screen displays the properties of the Fog God Gun, as well as the various powerful skills attached to it. There were noisy comments all around, this attribute is much stronger than the level 100 legendary weapon I brought. The included skills are also very powerful, but they are too expensive. At this moment, a voice came from the VIP room of Tianzi No. 1, 50 million. Other VIP rooms also quoted prices, raising the prices higher and higher. In the end, it was bought by a guest of Tianzi No. 8 VIP room for 88 million yuan. Yi Ching sat at the window and looked at the next door curiously, a little curious, but every window was blocked by formations. You can't see the scene inside at all. Next was an epic battle armor, which was still sold at a sky-high price and was bought by a VIP with the highest rank in the world. As the last three final items appeared, everyone's eyes were focused on the light curtain. Demonic Sword, Evil Blood, Epic Level, can be worn at level 75. Yi Ching looked at the properties of this magic sword and said, It's not bad, but I don't seem to have that much money. Mr. Liu shouted, the starting price is 51 million. Yi Ching quoted directly in the VIP room, 80 million. This was his base price because he only had so much money. If someone offered a higher price, Yi Ching could only give up. Other Tianzi VIP rooms have bid, 85 million. 90 million. In the end, it was 135 million, which was taken by Tianzi No. 1 VIP room. Yi Ching was also helpless, forget it, even if I take a photo, I can't equip it. The light screen changed again, this time it was a pet egg. Bai Luan epic level can be hatched and recognized as its owner. The auction house was abuzz again, it's an epic pet egg, and someone can actually sell such a thing. It still looks like a flying pet. If this white Luan grows up, its combat effectiveness will be greatly improved. As Mr. Liu shouted out the lowest price, another round of price war broke out around him. Yi Ching watched these people robbing, they didn't seem to take the money seriously at all. This pet egg was eventually photographed by a VIP from Tianzi No. 1 and cost 250 million. As the pet egg auction was completed, the last item, the mythical equipment, was revealed on the light screen. The crowd around them cursed, what the hell, it turns out to be broken mythical equipment. This is a part of a mythical equipment, and it doesn't even have any attributes to dare to auction it. That's what I'm telling you. Sunchan Auction House is just doing this for publicity, a stunt. Yi Ching looked at the mythical equipment and fell into a daze. Immortal Killing Flying Knife Myth Incomplete Introduction Missing Important Components No Power, No Skills Properties None Skill Immortal Killing Cannot Be Used Mr. Liu remained calm-faced. He had already guessed this scene. Even if this is an incomplete piece of mythical equipment, it is still valuable. You can find a master craftsman to refine it again, and it can still become a pseudo-mythical level equipment. The base price is 50 million. There was silence all around, even the VIP room was silent. 
Divine craftsmen are qualified to create mythical equipment, but there is also a high chance of failure. Moreover, the price of finding a divine craftsman is more expensive than this piece of equipment. Even the people in Tianzi VIP room are not willing to do this loss-making business after weighing the pros and cons. At this moment, a voice came from the Tianzi No. 9 VIP room. 50 million. Hearing this, the crowd around was silent for a while, and then there was a roar. What is the purpose of buying this thing? Is it a collection? I guess it's from Shuntian Auction House. The first few items that failed to be auctioned were all purchased from Tianzi No. 9 VIP Room. It's very possible. It seems that it's really the Sunshan Auction House's entrustment. He even raised the price just now. Yi Ching looked calm when he heard these voices. These people will never understand what this thing means to them. When he heard Yi Ching's quotation, Mr. Liu was full of surprise. He thought the auction was going to fail. After waiting for a long time, there was no one around to quote, so Mr. Liu took a small hammer and knocked three times quickly. For fear that Yi Ching would regret it, he said, Deal, congratulations to this customer for successfully photographing the mythical equipment. Thank you for your participation. This auction has concluded successfully. The next large-scale auction will be in a month. The auction came to an end, and the crowd began to leave. There was a knock on Yi Ching's door, I'll give you the auction items. Come in. Mr. Liu opened the door and walked in, looking at Yi Ching without any surprise. Place a few items on the table. Yi Ching checked them one by one and then put them all away. Mr. Liu handed Yi Ching a card, there are 30 million in it, which is the remaining money. Yi Ching took it directly, you don't seem to have charged a handling fee. A faint smile appeared on Mr. Liu's lips, this is my investment in you, Yi Ching, this year's top scorer in the college entrance examination. Thank you, I will remember you. Yi Ching nodded. There was a bigger smile on Mr. Liu's face, it's getting late, so I sent a car to take you back to Kyoto University. The car is downstairs. Yi Ching walked out of the VIP room and came to the door of Shuntian Auction House. There are a series of luxury cars parked here, and people are waiting at the door. One of the young men came to Yi Ching and said, I am the driver arranged by Mr. Liu for you. Please get in the car. Suddenly three people walked out of the auction house. Yi Ching seemed to sense it and turned around. Gord, Nine-Tailed Sky Fox exclusive equipment. Yi Tianxing, Nangong Ya, and Yi Ling were all looking at Yi Ching. The eyes of several people were a little complicated. The scene was a bit unnatural at this moment. Yi Ching turned around with a calm expression, let's go. Please come with me. The young driver took Yi Ching to a luxury car. Yi Ching sat directly in the back seat, started the vehicle, and drove away. Looking at the scenery outside the window, Yi Ching was thinking about something. If he in his previous life knew this, he would definitely recognize each other with tears in his eyes. But after decades of pain and torture, Yi Ching deeply understands that without absolute strength, family ties, friendships, and love cannot be maintained, and everything is just a passing thing. The future world is so terrifying that most of the ten war gods of Great Sha will die in that incident a few years later. Now Yi Ching just wants to improve his strength and become stronger. At the entrance of Shuntian Auction House, the three of them looked at the direction in which Yi Ching was leaving. Yi Ling was full of energy and a little angry, he clearly knows the truth, how can he still do this? He will know later, Nan Gong Ya said softly. Yi Tianxing's expression was calm, two long swords and a ring appeared in his hands, and he handed them to Yi Ling, go to Kyoto University tomorrow and give them to Yi Ching, don't forget. Good, Kyoto University, Yi Ching was sitting on the sofa. In front of him are the immortal killing gourd and the immortal killing flying knife. A suction force appeared at the mouth of the immortal killing gourd, and the immortal killing flying knife was sucked in directly. A prompt appears in the properties panel. The repair value of the immortal killing gourd has been greatly improved, and the equipment attributes have been greatly increased. Immortal killing gourd, super god, repair value 39 one hundredths of a percent. Hu Zongtian. The internal space is expanded, living creatures can be stored in its own space, and equipment or items can be automatically picked up. Skill, baby please turn around. After turning on, your own attack power increases by 5000%, lasting for 300 seconds, and the cooling time is 600 seconds. Immortal Killing Flying Knife. 
fly out a blade of light, lock onto the target forcibly, causing 6,500% damage to yourself, with a 50% probability of killing with one hit, and the cooldown time is 2 hours. Yi Ching looked at the properties of the immortal killing flying knife, which had a 50% probability of causing a one-hit kill. This effect ignores all levels, defense, and blood volume. As long as it is triggered, you will die instantly. Originally, the skill of immortal slaying flying knife was just a sword light, but now it has an entity, which greatly enhances the one-hit killing effect. If it is completely repaired, it will trigger a one-hit kill with 100% chance, which Yi Ching would not even dare to imagine. However, seeing that the repair value of the immortal killing gourd is only 39%, it has reached the level of a super god. It becomes increasingly difficult to repair later. But what surprised Yi Ching was what level of equipment the immortal killing gourd was. The repair value reached 39%, reaching the super god level. Yi Ching put away the immortal killing gourd and took out another item. A treasure chest with the image of a nine-tailed fox engraved on it. Do you want to open the treasure chest? Yes. Successful activation. Obtain the Hard Moon Bell. Hard Moon Bell, growable equipment. Introduction. The most precious treasure of the Qingqiu Fox Clan, only the Fox Clan can equip it. All attributes plus 500, charm plus 600. Skills, increase. The effect and power of all skills of the Qingqiu Fox Clan are increased by 80%. Yi Qing hung the equipment around Xiao Bai's neck, when I saw this pattern, I made a guess. I thought that no wonder it didn't cause a sensation in my previous life. This equipment is rare and cannot be equipped by ordinary professionals or pets. Although the sword was not auctioned this time, the harvest was huge. Yi Qing turned on his phone and looked at the time. It was already 8 o'clock in the evening, and several messages popped up on the phone. Yi Ching, the top scorer in the college entrance examination, is directly on the top of the list. Members of the Abyss Society were causing trouble in many cities in the south, but they were suppressed by the city defense army. We remind the public that the Abyss Society is hidden among the crowd, and every professional in life may be a member of the Abyss Society. The beast tide in Jiangnan province temporarily retreated, and a total of 36 professionals died. Yi Qingkang withdrew from the abyss and returned to the Yi family in Kyoto. It is rumored that Wei Qing is a descendant of the Yi family, and Yi Qingkang came back for this reason. Yi Qing put down his phone and closed his eyes, it seems that something has changed because of me. Yi Qingkang has been guarding the abyss during this period of time. And the abyss society should not appear at this time. Yi Ching guessed that it must be related to the members of the Abyss Society that he killed. Thinking about things, he gradually fell into a deep sleep. The next morning, there was lightning and thunder outside, and it rained heavily. There was a knock on the door outside. Yi Ching opened his eyes, stood up and opened the door. Morong Shui stood outside the door, a blush flashing across her white cheeks, you didn't go to class yesterday. The head teacher may have a grudge against you. Let me tell you, our class teacher's name is Luo Chu, and he has a bad temper. Yi Ching looked calm, it's okay, thank you for reminding me. That's good, I have to download the dungeon, so I'll leave first. Morong Shui had a smile on her cold face and left directly. Yi Ching closed the door, sat on the sofa and watched TV. By the way, Xiao Bai took out two portions of food. Xiao Bai was shaking his head at the side. He was very interested in Xinyue Ling and ran over when he saw the food. Yi Ching was eating breakfast when the door of his room was knocked again. Standing up and opening the door, Yi Ling stood there, a little bulging with anger, with water drops dripping from her long, silky hair. No, this is what father asked me to give to you. After speaking, he handed two sheathed swords and a ring to Yi Ching. Yi Ching subconsciously took it, well, why don't you wait until the rain stops before leaving, and stay for a meal? Yi Ling's beautiful eyes flashed with a soft light, okay. As she said that, she walked into the room, and Xiao Bai was eating on the table. Yi Ling looked at the surrounding environment and said, this place is too small. Why don't you come back to Yi's house with me? Yi Ching lay back on the sofa, forget it, I can't stand any restraint. Even though it's family ties, I will go back when I have time, but I won't stay for a long time. Yi Ling glanced at Yi Ching angrily and said angrily, forget it, it's up to you. I'm leaving. 
She left the room directly as the door closed. Yi Qing was the only one left in the room again. Yi Qing checked the attributes of the two long swords and rings. Ling Xiao Ring Epic can be worn at level 30. All basic attributes plus 800. Skill, Ling Xiao, the attack power of sword weapons is increased by 22%. Famous Sword, Heng Wang Epic can be worn at level 30. Physical attack power plus 1800, strength plus 750. Skill, Cold Shadow, blinds the enemy's perception for 3 seconds, cooling time is 30 minutes. Heng Wang Vision, the sword body is transparent, appears when exposed to light, and explodes with divine light. In the divine light phenomenon, the attack speed is plus 40%. Bright light slash, the divine light turns into a huge sword energy and delivers a violent blow, causing 580% damage. The cooldown time is 30 minutes. Looking at these two pieces of equipment, Yi Qing had a complex expression on his face. They were both absolutely top-notch and of extremely high value. Yi Qing began to examine another flying sword. When he saw the properties of this sword, Yi Qing was very surprised. Chapter 71 Sky Demon Sword Myth Disabled can be worn at level 30. Introduction The sword of the ancient demon god was extremely ferocious and unparalleled in power. When the demon god fought with the demon god, it was destroyed by the demon god. Physical attack power plus 3500, magic attack power plus 3500, strength plus 1000, intelligence plus 1000. Skill, shadow of the sky demon, vision, manifests the vision of the sky demon, increasing the power of all skills by 65%. Live, if you are not strong-willed, your soul will be invaded by evil spirits, which will cause serious consequences. Sticks slash, cannot be used. Demonic possession, cannot be used. Yi Qing looked at the properties of this sky demon sword. Although it was a broken mythical weapon, it was still very precious. The attributes are much stronger than those of ordinary epic weapons. Yi Qing's eyes were full of complexities, how should we face them? Forget it, after the Qing's Hao dungeon, let's go to Yi's house to have a look. He took out the sky sword box and looked at the eight flying swords inside. Take out the evil mist sword and put the sky demon sword and Heng Wang sword inside. All nine flying swords were legendary level or above. Yi Qing also equipped the Ling Xiao Ring, and the attribute panel was once again greatly improved. Especially the Heavenly Demon Sword, its additional attributes are only slightly worse than those of the Zushan Sword. Walking to the window, Yi Qing looked at the heavy rain and had no intention of going out. Looking at the bracelet on his hand, let's go to the virtual world to exercise. Lying in bed, your consciousness enters the virtual world. Now, there is not only a virtual arena, but also other buildings, but they are all prototypes. There are some students around, receiving guidance from their seniors. Yi Qing appeared on the virtual arena. In this arena, besides Yi Qing, there were two figures. Zhu Ying and Shang Guanong were practicing their footwork. Seeing Yi Qing arriving, the two of them stopped in unison. Zhu Ying looked at Yi Qing and said calmly, the college entrance examination is over, it's time to get some training. Yi Qing is still adapting to the huge gap in attributes. The attributes here are less than 1% of those in the outside world. Looking at the blood shadow, come on, let's start now. Sheng Guan Hong went directly to the bottom of the ring, intending to see how Yi Qing trained. The blood shadow nodded, old rule, touch the corner of my clothes. After saying that, he turned into a series of blood-red afterimages, and his speed reached the extreme. Yi Qing stepped on the Xuanwang Heavenly Steps. Although his speed was not as fast as Zhu Ying's, he could barely catch up. Ten minutes later, Yi Qing held a piece of cloth between his fingers and said, with the same attributes, I can catch you in sixteen minutes this time. Zhu Ying laughed loudly, boy, your speed has not become faster, but your prediction speed has become faster. In just a few days, you have grown so fast. In the audience, Sheng Guan Hong's face was full of shock, how is this possible? They obviously have the same attributes. How did Yi Qing catch the blood shadow? Wait, judge, predict, algorithm. She seemed to have thought of something, and her eyes lit up. On the ring, Zhu Ying smiled and said, this time, I'm going to do it for real. Yi Qing nodded. The two of them were extremely fast on the ring, walking quickly across the ring, leaving behind a series of afterimages. 
This arena gradually attracted some people, who were all watching the competition on the arena. The bracelets in the virtual world are now only experimental products in the internal beta version, and a lot of them have been distributed. Everyone on the sky list, SSS level professionals, hidden professionals, and top geniuses from various universities are eligible to enter the virtual world. Two hours later, Yi Ching grabbed Shui Ying's clothes and said, Sorry, I caught up with you. Zhu Ying stayed in place and said with a faint smile, Your progress is really getting faster and faster. He recognized this somewhat indifferent young man more and more. There was a loud noise from the crowd around him, how is it possible? Yi Ching actually managed to touch the blood shadow. Zhu Ying is the top footwork teacher in the virtual world. It is said that he assassinated gods a long time ago, and his speed was surpassed by Yi Ching. Among the crowd, some young geniuses who refused to admit defeat shouted, Yi Ching, I want to challenge you, in the virtual world. Yi Ching looked back and said indifferently, I'm at Kyoto University. You can challenge me at any time. The young man shouting below the ring looked a little embarrassed. Of course he knew that Yi Ching was at Kyoto University, but he had seen the video of Yi Ching's battle. There was absolutely no guarantee that he could win. Only in this virtual world, where everyone's attribute panels were the same, could he want to challenge Yi Ching for the top position. Seeing that Yi Ching was about to leave, he shouted, You must be scared, right? Remember, I am Fang Ziyuan from Shanghai University, an SS-level professional wood mage. Yi Ching's expression remained calm as he glanced at everyone in the audience, It's too boring to be alone, all of you should join together. What, this is not the outside world. Everyone's attribute panels are the same. Don't be too showy, Shang Wan Hong shouted hurriedly. Hearing Shang Wan Hong's words, everyone around them shouted, Yes. What are we afraid of? The properties of the virtual world are all the same. Yi Ching, you are too arrogant, let's go together. There were a total of 15 people in the audience, but only 7 stepped onto the stage. The others were extremely arrogant and refused to accept a group of people watching one person. They planned to challenge Yi Ching alone later. Yi Ching looked at the people surrounding him and glanced at the bloody figure behind him who was watching the excitement, Old man, give me a sword. Zhu Ying nodded, a wooden sword appeared in his hand, and he threw it to Yi Ching. Yi Ching took it, his eyes turned cold and his aura was fierce. He stabbed directly at one of them, no, let's get out of the way. He can only attack one person, we attack. The man stabbed by Yi Ching broke out in cold sweat. No matter how he tried to dodge, he could not avoid Yi Ching's attack. He was stabbed directly, turned into a phantom, and was teleported out of the virtual world. Several other people cooperated very well and formed a formation for fighting booze, with the knight profession blocking the front, and the mage and archer attacking from a distance in the rear. Yi Ching's footwork was weird and all attacks could not touch him. When others were attacking Yi Ching, Yi Ching turned into a shadow and was scattered. Everyone felt a chill behind their backs, lost consciousness for a moment, and exited the virtual world. If you are killed in the virtual world, you will be mentally weak for several days when you return to the outside world. Everyone below the ring was stunned, how did Yi Ching do it, teleport in the virtual world? No, why didn't you notice Yi Ching's footwork? Every step he takes is in a specific position. This is a super small phantom formation. I didn't expect that he would be so powerful and his formation skills would be so high. Zhu Ying nodded happily, this speed of progress is terrifying. Below the ring, Shang Wan Hong's eyes were filled with thoughts. She had some insights after looking at Yi Ching's attack method. On the arena, Yi Ching's figure disappeared and he exited the virtual world. The consciousness returned to the room and received the attribute panel prompt. Your footwork proficiency plus 7%. Your sword proficiency plus 2%. Yi Ching turned on his phone and saw that it was already 1 o'clock in the afternoon. The weather outside is very gloomy, as if pregnant with a bigger rainstorm. The little fox lay aside, sleeping. Yi Ching came to the balcony and looked outside through the window. It was still drizzling. He took the little fox with him and left the room. In the cafeteria of Kyoto University, I packed hundreds of meals and left Kyoto University. Walking on the wide street with traffic passing everywhere, Yi Ching thought about the location of the Qingshui River copy. It's outside Kyoto, still a long way away. There is a flying sword under his feet, flying close to the ground at an extremely fast speed. 
flying towards the entrance of Qingshui River at high speed. Two hours later, Yi Qing came to a desolate low mountain. There are overgrown weeds all around, and some dilapidated buildings are already covered with moss. It has been abandoned for a long time. The entrances to all dungeons in Kyoto are extremely lively, but this place is too deserted. At first glance, you can tell that no professionals have come here for a long time. Yi Qing walked through the dilapidated buildings and came to the top of the mountain, where there was a relatively intact building. Within the building, a formation was in perfect condition and occasionally shone brightly. At this time, it started to rain again. Yi Qing entered the building and looked at the formation. That should be right. This is the entrance to the Qingshui River Dungeon. How come such a harmless name has become a forbidden copy? At this moment, a cough came from behind Yi Qing, and an old man wearing a straw hat walked in, making an old voice. Young man, get out of here quickly. There are many other copies in Kyoto, so don't take risks entering here. Yi Qing turned his head and looked at an old man dressed in simple clothes with a cigarette in his mouth and said. Have you ever entered this copy? I want to know something about it. A look of fear flashed in the old man's eyes, I was just sent to maintain the formation and to stop professionals who wanted to enter the dungeon. I don't know the internal situation, but few people who go in come out alive. Even if they come out alive, they are either crazy or stupid. They all said some weird things. Yi Qing nodded, he also knew this, but now he was ready, even if there were mythical level boosts inside. With the Immortal Killing Gourd and the Immortal Killing Sword formation, as well as the power of time and space, these three trump cards make him fearless in everything. Walk directly into the formation. The old man on the side was full of surprises, but he said with a smile, to prevent accidents, I have set restrictions on the teleportation array. You will not be able to enter the dungeon unless I activate it. A monster's core appeared in Yi Qing's hand and was thrown directly onto the formation at his feet. Turned into a formation pattern, restrictions are broken, goodbye. It directly turned into a ray of light and disappeared into the teleportation array. The old man's face was full of shock, how young is this kid, but he has such profound knowledge and formations. But since we came here prepared, there should be no problem in getting out alive. At the foot of the mountain, there is a team of professionals, 13 people in total. One of them, a girl with glasses, was a little scared, we really have to enter that death dungeon. I heard that many professionals died in it. You must be afraid, right? The greater the danger, the better, so that the reward inside will be generous enough. A somewhat arrogant young man said disdainfully. If you're afraid, just quit the team. We're not forcing you to go in. This professional team went up the mountain and came to the entrance of the dungeon. At this time, the old man guarding the formation was studying the formation, it's strange, the restrictions have been restored again, this kid is really amazing. He raised his head and looked at the team of professionals walking in from the rain, you go back. This formation has restrictions and you can't enter. The unruly young man at the head scolded, hurry up and open it, don't waste our time. You'd better go, it's really dangerous here, the old man advised earnestly. Several members of the professional team took out their weapons directly, hurry up, otherwise it will be bad if you take action. You want to fight me, but I'm a level 200 array mage. Since you insist on dying, I won't stop you. The formation lit up, and everyone in the professional team was teleported into the dungeon. At the entrance to the Qingzhaui dungeon, the old man looked at the heavy rain outside somewhat depressedly, with a cigarette in his mouth. Oh, it's hard to be a good person. Why are so many people entering this dungeon today? In the copy, Yi Qing looked at the scene in front of him, a little confused. I am outside a small town, where there is a harmonious and comfortable scene, and children are constantly playing around. Some women were washing clothes by the river, talking and laughing among themselves. There is a large mountain in the distance, covered with lush vegetation and big trees. Yi Qing looked at the sign hanging on the town, Qingshui Town. A prompt appears in the properties panel. Enter the special copy, Qingshui River. Introduction. In a peaceful and peaceful town, there is a ghost hidden. If you find it and destroy it, you can get massive rewards and leave the dungeon. Note. During the river god sacrifice, there is a probability of triggering special tasks. Yi Qing looked at the introduction of the copy, and there was nothing surprising about it. 
Activate the power of time and space to confirm that you can leave the copy at any time. Entering Qingshui town, it looks very normal, but the clothes are a bit simple. When the crowd around him saw Yi Qing, some old people said with emotion, speaking of it, there should be no strangers here in three or four years. Foreigners, if you don't have a place to live, you can come to my house. You are welcome here, and Aunt drooled as she looked at Yi Qing and spoke loudly. Aunt Lu, have you fallen in love with this handsome foreigner? Get out of here, I'm introducing you to my daughter. The crowd around her looked at her strangely. Her daughter's nickname was Iron Hammer. She was tall and thick, and no one had ever noticed her. Yi Qing was a little helpless. This place was too normal for normal people. It was completely different from the legendary dungeon where death was inevitable. Crossing the street, looking around at the scene. Yi Qing was walking in the town. Others just glanced at Yi Qing, not surprised at all, and did whatever they had to do after that. Arriving at several houses near the foot of the mountain, Yi Qing saw a 13 or 14 year old girl in front of one of the houses, sweating profusely, holding her stomach and rolling. She is very thin and wears old clothes full of patches. He was rolling on the ground, but he gritted his teeth and didn't make any sound. Seeing Yi Qing walking towards here, her eyes were full of vigilance. A bottle appeared in Yi Qing's hand and he poured out a white pill, eat it and you'll be fine. Life or death, it's all in your mind. There was a look of reluctance in the girl's eyes. She was unwilling to die like this and burst out with a strong will to live. She burst out with her last bit of strength, stood up, grabbed the elixir in Yi Qing's hand, and stuffed it into her mouth. Yi Qing looked at the name on her head, Su Yuehua. There are some colors in the gold, which means something. She has the potential to become a demigod, but her luck and opportunities are just a bit lacking. After a while, she recovered, and her vigilance towards Yi Qing became lighter. But his voice was still a little weak, thank you. Even without my help, you won't die. The food you eat is not highly toxic. You will only have diarrhea for a few days at most. Yi Qing said calmly. Suddenly, she fell to her knees and said in a pleading voice, you must be a very powerful pharmacist, can you save my mother? Yi Qing's expression did not change at all, let's find a place where no one is around, and you can tell me everything. Su Yuehua hesitated for a moment, stood up, and pointed to the big stone pier at the foot of the mountain not far away. The two came to the big stone pier and sat down. Looking at the sky in the distance, the sun sets and the sunset glow fills the sky, it is a very beautiful scene. The girl Su Yuehua confided many things to Yi Qing. Her father was swallowed by a river monster when she was young, and she and her mother have been dependent on each other since then. Until two years ago, her mother was seriously ill. She had no choice but to go to the mountains to collect herbs in exchange for some medicine, regardless of the danger. Yi Qing looked at the sky in the distance. The sunset was ending and night was about to fall. His sharp eyes had a soft light. Let's go. I can help you check it out, but don't blame me if you can't cure it. Su Yuehua beamed, really, that's great. She felt that all the pain she had received was worth it at this moment. Yi Qing looked at her, as if he saw some shadows of his past, let's go. It's getting dark. Yi Qing followed her into the yard. At the same time, outside Qingshui town. More than a dozen figures appeared at the same time. They looked at the scene around them, it doesn't look like a dead copy here. It looks quite peaceful. No, look at the attribute panel. There is a terrifying existence hidden here. We'd better not enter the town. Let's camp outside. The timid girl with glasses said nervously. At this moment, several old men came out of the town and were very enthusiastic. Foreigners, we have prepared a place for you and food. Come with us. It's okay, we don't mean any harm. The people in this team looked at each other, a little wary, and rejected the people in the town, thank you for your kindness, we don't need it. The old men were a little regretful, it's been a long time since any outsiders came. We don't mean any harm. Yes, forget it if you don't need to. There will be monsters crawling out of the Qingshui River at night. Only a small town is absolutely safe. Several people in this team are in a dilemma at this moment. There are monsters outside the town, and there is a more terrifying ghost in the town. They were silent for a moment. There were more smiles on the faces of the old men, the night was getting darker and darker, and they all had some weird feelings. Several people discussed it and finally decided to enter the town. 
Compared with the bustling scene in the town, the Qingshui River looks particularly eerie. In a courtyard near the foot of the mountain, Yi Qing looked around. There were no weeds and the courtyard was very tidy. Su Yuehua entered the room and came to the bedside, Mom, I brought a pharmacist to help you see a doctor. He is very powerful. Really, it's really hard on you. Lying on the bed was a middle-aged woman who was ill in bed. Her face was a little haggard and her voice was extremely weak. If you don't listen carefully, you won't hear it at all. Yi Qing walked into the room and watched the exchange between the two. Looking at the woman lying on the bed, she threw a probing technique. Chen Li dying, her life is approaching, there is no cure, and she only has two days left to live. Yi Qing sighed secretly, there is nothing we can do. This is a heart disease. Her heart has died along with her husband a long time ago. But without saying it to his face, a purple pill appeared in his hand. Blood evil elixir powder, it can return to full strength within 48 hours, after which it will completely die. Yi Qing shouted to Su Yuehua, come here, give your mother this elixir, and then she will be fine. Ah, really, Su Yuehua walked quickly to Yi Qing and took the pill for her mother to take. The moment Chen Li took the elixir, her complexion became more and more rosy, as if she had never been sick before. Su Yuehua cried with joy, okay, you are really healed. Yi Qing looked at the dark sky outside. From the mountains not far away, strange roars could be heard from time to time. He said to the mother and son, I hope you will have a happier life in the next two days. After saying that, she was about to leave. Chen Li looked at Yi Qing's back with a complicated look in her eyes. But looking at Su Yuehua, there was more reluctance and love in her eyes. Su Yuehua looked at the only two wooden beds in the house, which looked very crude, and looked at Yi Qing's leaving figure thoughtfully. Yi Qing left the courtyard and walked towards the mountain. He really didn't want to see the scene where the truth was revealed. Entering the woods, nine flying swords floated behind you. Suddenly, pairs of red eyes stared at Yi Qing and rushed towards him. Vampire Bat Elite Level 50 HP 126,000 Attack 1510, Defense, 650. Skills, Blood Sucking, Fangs, Speed, Poison. Swarms of vampire bats walked through the night, attacking Yi Qing one after another. Yi Qing waved his hand and all nine flying swords flew up. Forming a nine palace sword array, each sword can harvest the life of a monster. Minus 623,000. Behind each flying sword, there is a bright sword shadow, making these monsters fall into a state of dizziness. Yi Qing received prompts from the property panel one after another. Kill the vampire bat and gain 6,500 experience points. Ten minutes later, almost all the vampire bats around were killed, and a huge bat comparable to an adult flew deep in the dense forest. Yi Qing turned on the moonlight vision, and in the dark forest, the moonlight shone all around. The image of the huge bat was revealed. It was very terrifying, with red eyes and sharp fangs. Vampire Bat King Lord Level 60. HP 2.6 million. Yi Qing didn't even bother to look at the attributes at the back. He grabbed the Immortal Killing Sword and said, Slash the sky and draw the sword technique. Xiaobai, who was lying on Yi Qing's shoulder, had a light in his eyes, and the Vampire Bat King stopped motionless instantly. A huge sword energy rose into the sky, and the vampire bat king was cut into two pieces. A scary number appears above your head. Minus 6.98 million. Yi Qing looked at the equipment and various materials that had fallen all over the place, all gathering towards him. This is the automatic pickup function of the immortal gourd. Nine flying swords floated around, and a huge lightsaber appeared under Yi Qing's feet, flying towards the top of the mountain. He planned to find a place to camp tonight. The town was too weird, and Qingshui River had an aura that made his hair stand on end. Only this mountain made him feel no threat. He muttered to himself, with my current strength, I can kill level 60 lord monsters instantly even if I don't use the sword heart transparent state and the ancient holy body. Xiaobai shouted in agreement, and his stomach began to growl in dissatisfaction. Yi Qing looked at the surrounding scenery with the moonlight above his head, and saw a fairly flat cliff. Start setting up formations and setting up tents. After half an hour, Yi Qing looked at the formation and snapped his fingers, the formation is activated. 
the tent and himself disappeared in place, and the cliff returned to its original appearance. This is a small phantom formation arranged by Yi Cheng. It contains 18 layers of defensive formations and two warning formations. In the formation, Yi Cheng placed a luminous stone in front of him and sat on a stone, holding a box lunch in his hand. Xiao Bai was eating on the side and glanced at Yi Cheng resentfully, as if to say, the food is never on time, which makes me hungry every day. Late at night, a piercing scream came from the small town. In a somewhat dilapidated courtyard, the 13 members of the professional team lived here. Hearing the screams, everyone went to check. In the center of the courtyard, they saw a bloody scene. The timid girl wearing glasses took two steps back tremblingly, here, there is a ghost here. In the courtyard, one of their teammates was seen kneeling in the direction of Qingshui River with great respect, holding his heart in his hand. It can kill professionals silently. It seems that the strength of this monster cannot be underestimated. We will take turns to keep vigil at night. Everyone must be vigilant, this copy of death is really scary. The unruly young man shouted loudly, with an imperceptible cold light flashing in his eyes. They spent the night in fear. Yi Qing, who was on the cliff, walked out of the tent and stretched out. He lifted the formation and simply tidied up the place. In the early morning, mist filled the surroundings, and a huge lightsaber appeared under Yi Qing's feet. Flying towards the foot of the mountain, he landed next to a stone pier. He walked towards the courtyard on the side and knocked on the door a few times. Su Yuehuo walked away happily and opened the courtyard door, You are here, please come in quickly. Yi Qing nodded, I want to have a few words with your mother alone. I want to tell my mother about this. Su Yuehua trotted into the room. After just a moment, he walked out and said, Go in and talk to my mother. I'll be waiting outside. Yi Qing entered the room, clapped his hands, and a sound silencing formation appeared around him. Chen Li sat there quietly. When she saw Yi Qing coming in, she quickly stood up and said, This place is a bit rough, so please don't dislike it. Yi Qing looked at her, you still have two days to live, and you will leave tomorrow night. Have you figured out how to tell the little girl? Sadness flashed in Chen Li's eyes, and she knelt down directly in front of Yi Qing, I know you are a capable person, please take her in. I am a foreigner, there is no way I can stay for a long time. Yi Qing remained unmoved, his expression calm. If you can take her in, I can tell you two secrets, about this town and the Qingshui River. After she finished speaking, she kowtowed directly to Yi Qing, her eyes full of determination. Chen Li knows that she is destined to die, and the only one she can't let go of now is her daughter Su Yuehua. There was some sentimentality in Yi Qing's eyes, and he was a little moved, I will do my best to take care of her in Qingshui town, but when I leave here, there will be nothing I can do. Okay, that's enough. Chen Li looked straight at Yi Qing, as if she wanted to see through Yi Qing's heart, looking at Yi Qing's extremely cold eyes. She stood up and said, The day after tomorrow is the river god festival in the town, and a pair of boys and girls will be captured to sacrifice to the river god. The ghost hidden in the town will be hidden in people's hearts. Whoever behaves crazier will be hiding in that person's heart. As long as you kill that ghost, you can leave here at any time without being affected by anything. Yi Qing sat on a dilapidated wooden chair and listened quietly to all this. The information Chen Li gave him was very important. He immediately offered a way to leave. Chen Li looked at Yi Qing's expression and eyes, and she was betting on whether Yi Qing was the kind of treacherous person. Yi Qing asked, there is another secret. Chen Li's expression suddenly became complicated, I'm not sure about this. It may be true or it may be false. Tell me about it, I'm very interested. Several lunch boxes appeared in Yi Qing's hand, he pushed one to Xiao Bai, and ate the other one himself. It was one night when I vaguely saw my dead husband. He said that there was a wider world on the other side of the Qingshui River. But the entire area of Qingshui town was circled by the Qingshui River God with his divine power. When he said the name of the River God, it dissipated in an instant, and I woke up. When Chen Li said this, she felt inexplicably sad. Yi Qing's eyes suddenly lit up, and he thought in his mind, could this be a large copy that has not been discovered, but it is bound by the river god, so no one has ever discovered it. I really made a lot of money this time. The value of a large, unexplored dungeon is simply immeasurable. Even the top family in Daxia would be so excited that they would block the news at all costs. 
Yi Ching snapped his fingers, dispelling the silence formation, and shouted to Su Yuehua outside the room, Come in. Su Yuehua walked into the room, smelled a scent, swallowed, and saw some redness and swelling on Chen Li's forehead. Mom, what's wrong with you? Could it be that he bullied you? He glared at Yi Ching. It's okay, it has nothing to do with him. Chen Li put her hand on Su Yuehua's shoulder and said softly. Yi Ching finished the last bite of food and picked up the little fox, I have something else to do, let's go. Walking out of the courtyard, disappeared into the morning mist. Su Yuehua and her daughter looked at the several well-packaged meals on the table, and then looked at the direction Yi Ching was leaving. Did he leave this behind on purpose? Probably. Yi Ching took advantage of the mist, hiding in the mist, and walked around Qingshui town. Suddenly he saw an unruly young man in front of him, his eyes suddenly turned cold, and his murderous intent instantly broke out. Secret Realm, the Formation of Heavenly Ghosts. Satu Yun, Satu Feng's brother, Yi Ching's undying enemy. Yi Ching looked at Satu Yun holding a map in his hand and muttering something as he walked into a street corner. Yi Ching suddenly chased after him. In the mist, Yi Ching's eyes were extremely cold. He held the red sky sword in his hand and wanted to tear Satu Yun into pieces. Suddenly I heard Satu Yun murmuring in a low voice, according to the guidance of the gods, the ancient secret realm should be in this world, but why does it feel like something is wrong? Yi Ching, who was hiding in the dark, had a look of thought in his eyes. When he heard about the ancient secret realm, he was filled with shock. I originally wanted to kill Satu Yun directly, but now it seems I have to wait. The morning sun rises and the fog gradually dissipates. Yi Ching decided to retreat temporarily, but before retreating, he did some tricks on Satu Yun. The ancient secret realm is of great importance. It will invade Blue Star in the future, causing huge damage and countless people will die. At the corner of the street, Satu Yun left here in a confused voice and returned to his residence. Several people gathered around and asked, What have you been doing? This town is too weird, we'd better not get separated easily. Satu Yun smiled and said, Am I okay? I went for a walk in the morning. There shouldn't be any danger during the day. Others began to discuss how to clear this copy. On the mountain behind the town, there is dense vegetation, and there are seven or eight meter tall trees everywhere, blocking the sun. Yi Ching was sitting on a huge lightsaber, with nine flying swords and countless sword marks floating behind him. This should be the territory of the vampire Bat King yesterday. We will clear this mountain of monsters today and explore the Qingshui River tomorrow. The flying sword flew towards the top of the mountain, and the scattered branches and some fallen leaves were cut open by the sword marks. Passing by the cliff where he camped last night, there was nothing strange here. Yi Ching took a brief look at it. Just continue flying towards the top of the mountain. A large group of gray foxes were in front of them. They looked very strange and had a vertical eye between their eyebrows, blocking Yi Ching's progress. Three-Eyed Ghost Fox Elite Level 60 HP 165,000 Attack 1510 Defense 700 Skills Illusion, Confusion, Weird Waves, Heavenly Ghost Formation Just when Yi Ching was checking their attributes, a larger three-eyed ghost fox roared. The surrounding groups of ghost foxes actually formed some strange patterns in an orderly manner, and the original mountain scene around them changed directly. The surroundings were filled with darkness, and countless green shadows were heading towards Yi Ching. Yi Ching looked at the formation and said, This doesn't look like something these monsters know. Could it be that someone taught it? All the sword marks flew out, killing the souls of these ghosts. There were a lot of instant kills, and Yi Ching received a steady stream of reminders. Kill the heavenly ghost and gain 3200 experience points. Your flying sword Qi Xiao has been upgraded. It is currently level 30. Yi Ching held the red sky sword in his hand and said, slash the sky and draw the sword technique. A huge sword energy flew out, reaching its peak, and all the ghosts within a hundred meters were killed. A steady stream of ghosts appeared from behind, and Yi Ching's eyes lit up. This thing can still produce. This formation is really good. It's a good place for leveling, but it doesn't drop anything. The nine flying swords flew together to continuously harvest these ghosts. The lightsaber under Yi Ching's feet began to move, and a steady stream of sword marks began to appear. White flames appeared on Xiaobai's nine tails, and he flew into the group of sky ghosts. 
Suddenly, the white flames began to rise, burning a large area of the sky ghosts one after another. Yi Ching clapped his hands, the moonlight phenomenon appeared, and a huge ferocious shadow appeared behind him. It looked very fierce. This was the phenomenon of the heavenly demon. Just like this, the massacre continued. Half an hour later, Yi Ching received a prompt from the attribute panel. Your flying sword to kill the immortal and control the sky are upgraded. Your pet nine-tailed sky fox has been upgraded. Congratulations on the upgrade, currently level 31. An hour later, the surrounding ghosts no longer appeared, and a bright moon hung high. Yi Ching looked around, the core of the formation is running out of energy so quickly. I haven't killed enough yet. Looking at the bright moon in the sky, Yi Ching controlled it to move forward quickly. When it reached a point, the surrounding darkness disappeared. A large group of three-eyed ghost foxes were lying on the ground, exhausted from exhaustion. The sword marks floating behind Yi Ching flew out, and he was about to kill these three-eyed ghost foxes. An old voice came from the distance, wait a minute, do it. An old Taoist priest with gray hair and beard, wearing a simple Taoist robe with bagua patterns painted on his back, came from a distance. Every step he took was slow, but he covered a long distance. Yi Ching through exploration technique. Taoist priest Qingshu epic level 120. Question mark question mark question mark. No other attributes can be seen, and the levels are too different to be viewed. Yi Ching looked at the old Taoist priest, his fierce aura erupted, he held the immortal killing gourd in his hand and locked onto him directly. Taoist master Qingshu was sweating from behind. He actually felt the threat of death in this young man. My little friend, I don't mean any harm. These three-eyed ghost foxes are my captive beasts to protect the mountain. Yi Ching put away the immortal killing gourd in his hand, and the lightsaber under his feet disappeared. I was still a little wary of this old Taoist priest, what on earth is going on? Ching Shu stroked his beard gently, came to Yi Ching, looked around, what a good young man, his momentum is like a peerless fairy sword. There were nine flying swords floating behind Yi Ching, the tips of the swords pointed at the old man, don't show off, who are you? How do you say this? I won't be able to explain it for a while, so why don't you come to the thatched cottage on the top of the mountain to talk in detail? After the old man finished speaking, he stepped on the magical footwork and disappeared in a flash. Although Yi Ching wanted to kill this epic boss, he also wanted to know the truth and what happened in the ancient secret realm. I followed it directly. On the top of the mountain, there was a peach forest with several wooden houses inside. Taoist priest Ching Shu was sitting on a peach tree branch, looking a bit like an immortal. Counting with his fingers, he looked at Yi Ching with a smile, it turns out that little friend is not from this world. Yi Ching was suddenly shocked. This could be calculated, he thought to himself, this Bu's skill is quite powerful. Taoist master Ching Shu seemed to see what Yi Ching was thinking, and said softly, there are people from other worlds coming here all the time, and we call them aliens. This large area of Qingshui town is a sealed area in order to trap the inner demons and the river god. I'm the one guarding here. Yi Ching was not concerned about this and quickly asked, do you know about the ancient secret realm? Qingshu's face was calm, but there was a hint of fear in his eyes, I know, but it's too scary there. It has been sealed a long time ago, and it is many times scarier than the seal here. Yi Ching's eyes were full of thoughts and he thought, it seems that the ancient secret realm should be in this large copy. Taoist priest Ching Shu looked at Yi Ching's silence and continued. This world is called the small spirit realm. It is vast and vast. Even those who practice Taoism can only view a corner of the world. As for the ancient secret realm you mentioned, it is the number one forbidden land in the small spirit world. It is said that the ancient demon god is sealed inside. Yi Ching nodded. Thank you for informing me, but since you have been guarding here, why did you turn a blind eye to the River God Festival in the town below? Every year, boys and girls are sacrificed to the River God, and you just watch them behave like this. When Taoist Master Ching Shu heard this, he sighed, do you really think I can go down the mountain? This is the center of the formation. Once it is destroyed, it will be a trivial matter to the River God. If the inner demon escapes outside the formation, it will be difficult to catch it. So that's it. Yi Ching looked calm, but in his heart he didn't completely believe the old Taoist priest. If you find something wrong, you can instantly pause the time. 
Since there are no monsters on this mountain, there is no need for me to stay. A lightsaber appeared at Yi Ching's feet and he was about to leave. At this moment, Taoist master Ching Shu flicked his sleeves, and a stream of light flew towards Yi Ching. These are some greeting gifts for my little friends, please accept them. The light dissipated and a porcelain bottle appeared. Yi Ching reached out to catch it. View Properties Tianling Pill Legendary If swallowed below level 50, it can be directly upgraded by one level. It can only be eaten three times. Yi Ching raised his hands to Taoist priest Ching Shu and flew down the mountain with his sword. I became less wary of Taoist priest Ching Shu. This old Taoist priest seemed to have no ill intentions. Although you can't level up here, getting the Tianling pill is also a huge gain. Yi Ching checked and found that there were ten pills in the bottle. He could take three of them and sell the other seven, which was also a huge fortune. Yu Jian flew around within the range of the formation, and the entire continuous mountain range and the Qingshui River were within the range of the formation. There is a range of hundreds of kilometers, and within this range is the Qingshui River copy. If the formation is broken, it will be a large copy of the small spirit world. Yi Qing sat on the flying sword and looked down at the mountains and rivers below. Almost every mountain was covered with monsters. It took a whole day until the sun set to kill all these monsters. Yi Qing reached level 32. Xiao Bai and several growable flying swords have also reached level 32. This upgrade speed is already amazing. After an average professional reaches level 30, it will take more than half a month for each level to be upgraded. As night fell, Yi Qing flew towards the town, intending to observe Situ Yun's movements. Anyway, he was hiding in the dark without any scruples. He landed at the foot of a mountain and waved his hand. The nine flying swords were put away, and they sat on the stone pier aside to have dinner. Yi Ching was eating and turned on his mobile phone. It was already eight o'clock in the evening and the sky was getting darker. The mobile phone has no signal at all in the copy, and I have long been accustomed to it. Late at night, in the courtyard where the professional team was located, everyone was in a daze and felt uneasy. Some people even complained, if I had known earlier, I shouldn't have entered this terrible dungeon. It's all your fault, Situ Yun. It was you who suggested it in the first place, saying that the more dangerous the copy, the more rewards it would receive. Situ Yun looked at everyone with a sneer on his face, when I proposed it, you all approved it unanimously. Now that people have died, they start to get scared, and they all blame me. A somewhat burly young man, his name is Hijia, is a knight in the team, and he usually has an extremely bad temper. That's enough, don't say anything special. Tonight, I suggest that we all stay vigil together and don't leave each other's sight. A hint of gloom flashed in Situ Yun's eyes, and he was the first to stand up, okay, I agree. They lit a bonfire in the yard, and everyone sat around the bonfire. Everyone has their own thoughts and regrets coming in. If you form a team and enter other dungeons, with the cooperation of the team, it is impossible for anyone to die. At the very back of the bonfire, a girl with glasses sat on a bench with her knees crossed. Her name is Xiao Ying, she is the priest in the team, and she is usually the timidest. Suddenly, she looked at the number of people in the team, 12 people. Counting herself, there were 13. She screamed, ah. Everyone looked at her, what's wrong with you? Xiao Ying said in a trembling voice, didn't you notice that there is an extra person in the team? Everyone was sweating from behind as they counted the number of people. They suddenly saw their teammates who had died last night, staying intact in the team, eating next to the campfire. I don't care who you are, just take a shot from me. A spear appeared in Hijia's hand and he rushed forward angrily. The spear flashed with light and stabbed directly towards the dead teammate. Minus 1300. A hurt number floated up, and everyone stood up. I saw their dead teammate turn his head and his face was revealed. It was a strange monster with a face full of black fur, fangs bared, and red eyes staring at everyone with a fierce light. Xiao Ying shouted from behind, it's a level 45 legendary monster, so be careful. Water monster, legend, level 45. HP, 2.4 million. Attack. 2120, defense, 1850. Skills, dark power, imitation, madness, burning blood. The entire team began to form a formation, it's a legendary monster, let's be careful. I just said it's nothing to be afraid of. 
This monster must have killed someone last night with a sneak attack. Hijia roared angrily, and a mount appeared next to him, pushing directly in front of him. In the darkness in the distance, Yi Ching watched all this, this water monster should be a subordinate of the river god, but why doesn't it attack the people in the town? Watching this team of people struggling to resist the monster, although they briefly fell below. However, the formation is not chaotic at all, and they should not be defeated for a while. Yi Ching sat on the wall, watching Satu Yun hold the staff, flashing with lightning, and kept attacking the water monster, and his body kept moving. A cold light flashed in his eyes, and what he wanted to know most now was how Satu Yun knew about the ancient secret realm. A white bottle appeared in his hand, spraying mist directly, and thick fog swept the entire courtyard. No one knew what was going on. What's going on? Are there other monsters here? Be careful. Yi Ching crushed a mist core in his hand and entered the mist directly. The Zushan sword turned into sword light and killed the water monster with one strike. Kill level 45 legendary monsters and gain 195,000 experience points. Yi Ching collected the items dropped by the water monster, caressed Xiao Bai, and looked at Satu Yun indifferently. After 10 minutes, the fog dissipated. Everyone in the team saw the surrounding things clearly. When they saw the water monster that had been chopped into two pieces, not even a drop of blood was shed. Could this be done by a stronger monster? This town is getting more and more wrong. We need to be extremely careful tonight. Everyone looked around with vigilance, and suddenly someone shouted, there is another person missing from our team, it's Satu Yun. He was captured by a monster. Let's go find him. There may be hope of living now. He Jia said, although he usually doesn't deal with Satu Yun. But you can't watch your teammates die like this. Everyone else was silent, and no one stood up. In the weird Qingshui town, they can't fight any monster that comes to them. This man is already a little broken. Xiao Ying said timidly, otherwise, let's go look for it during the day tomorrow. The town at night is too dangerous. The dense forest behind Qingshui town was shrouded in darkness. Satu Yun was tied to a big tree, and with Xiao Bai's control skills, he couldn't move at all. My heart was full of fear, help, help. A cold voice came from the distance, no need to shout. I'll ask you a few questions. If you answer them truthfully, I'll consider letting you go. When Satu Yun heard the human voice, he breathed a sigh of relief and his eyes became lively. Just ask, I'll tell you everything I know. Yi Ching looked at him, a medicine bottle appeared in his hand, and he poured out a blood red pill. While he was talking, he popped it directly into Satu Yun's mouth. Satu Yun was suddenly shocked and looked at the attribute panel. You have been poisoned by legendary poison, rotten blood poison. After 10 minutes, the blood will flow backwards and the internal organs will rot rapidly. Under the attack of severe poison, death will occur within 30 seconds. Satu Yun's eyes were full of fear. He was an SS level thunder mage and had a bright future. He didn't want to die. Yi Ching looked at him and finally became more honest, now, let me ask you a few questions. How did you know about the ancient secret realm? Tell me everything and I will consider letting you go. Satu Yun's eyes were a little decadent, the ancestors of my Satu family once lived in a hidden copy of Zhongbei City, a strange deserted village. I got a treasure map. After several generations of exploration, I finally found that place. It is a very special copy. There is nothing there, but there is a clone of a god. With his help, our Satu family is getting stronger and stronger. I was also guided here by that clone of a god. Yi Ching's eyes gradually became serious as he listened to his words, saying that the god's clone is now in the Satu family in Zhongbei City. As for the treasure map, Yi Ching remembered that the NPC Zhang Kui in the strange deserted village said that he had five items in total. There were two other items that were defrauded, and it seemed that one of them was the treasure map. Yi Ching looked at Satu Yun, you are no longer useful, go to hell. Satu Yun felt a sharp pain in his body and almost begged, I'm still useful, I know more information, please let me go. However, Yi Ching remained unmoved at all and watched as Satu Yun turned into pus and blood and died completely. Two formations appeared in his hand, a ball of fire flew out, and Satu Yun's clothes were completely reduced to ashes. Yi Ching touched the poisonous spider mask on his face, and a huge lightsaber appeared under his feet, flying towards the rock cliff last night. He said to himself, 
it has to be simple and crude, otherwise it will be too troublesome. Landed on the stone cliff, started to set up camp, and activated the formation here. Yi Ching was lying in the tent, his thoughts a little confused, and he was sorting out some things. Finally, the demon from the ancient secret realm came out, but it didn't look like it was the work of the Satu family. With the current strength of the Satu family, it is simply impossible. Yi Ching recalled all the details of his previous life, and the more he thought about it, the more he thought about it. His status in the previous life did not allow him to touch many things. Simply stop thinking about it. Once you become stronger, you can just kill him with one sword. Gradually fell into sleep. At the same time, at the place where Satu Yun died, the pool of pus and blood penetrated into the ground and disappeared. In the early morning of the next day, when the sky was slightly bright, Yi Ching got out of the tent. A green bird was chirping on a large branch nearby, and among the underground weeds, there were some colorful poisonous snakes twisting their bodies. Yi Ching clapped his hands, and everything around him turned into illusions and disappeared, dispelling the formation. All the monsters on the surrounding hills have been killed. It's time to go for a walk on the Qingshui River today. I packed everything up and had some breakfast. A huge sword light rose into the sky and flew towards the Qingshui River. The gurgling river water was flowing, and a sword light passed by on the surface of the river. Yi Qing turned on the sword hard and the nine flying swords floated behind him, with countless sword marks flying everywhere. The sword marks rushed into the water, setting off a series of splashing sounds, and soon the river surface was stained red with blood. Kill the level 50 ghost carp and gain 5,600 experience points. Kill the level 55 thick earth turtle and gain 7,300 experience points. Above the properties panel, a series of prompts slide across. Yi Ching looked at the upper reaches of Qingshui River, where there was an extremely terrifying aura. That should be the place where the river god is. Tomorrow the river god festival will be about killing him. Yi Ching will rely on the river god to draw out his inner demons, and then he will use his trump card to kill them all. If Taoist priest Qingshu is lying, kill them all together. Sitting on the huge lightsaber, the sword marks are continuously produced, turning into streams of light and rushing into the turbulent river below. Holding a heavenly spirit pill in his hand, he was studying it over and over again, wondering if he could refine a pill that would increase his experience. The speed of upgrading is even faster than killing monsters. The sun is rising high, and a large area of river water is blood red. Yi Ching looked at the fragments of the Tianling pill in his hand, I can't analyze it. It seems that the evil doctor's subclass is a bit weak. Suddenly, I seem to think of something and open the sign-in system. In the mall, Yi Ching looked at the alchemist's secondary profession. It requires 28 million experience to exchange. There are still 22.8 million experiences stored in the sign-in system. Try to switch to the alchemist sub-profession today. Yi Ching kept killing monsters in the Qingshui River and stored all his experience in the sign-in system. At this time, there was a luxurious manor in Kyoto. Yi Tianxing put down his cell phone with a worried look on his face. Nan Gong Ya complained, you haven't found it yet. Where can someone as big as Yi Ching go? According to the investigation, he entered the Qingshui River copy. What, that copy of death in Kyoto? If we die in that copy, our work will be in vain. Nan Gong Ya asked Yi Tianxing with an anxious look on his face. It's okay. According to Kyoto University's equipment, Yi Ching's status is always full. Yi Tianxing sat back on the sofa, a trace of anxiety flashed in his eyes, but he didn't show it. He is the head of the Yi family. He must maintain his dignity at all times. When something happens, he must remain calm even if he is panicking. How about we line up some people to enter the Qingzhaui dungeon? What if? Nan Gong Ya was a little upset. No need, Yi Qing has too many secrets, he will be fine. Yi Tianxing looked at his phone, which showed a light screen. It displays all of Yi Qing's status. Yi Ling stood up from the side, as if he heard everything, I want to lead a team of people into the Qingshui River dungeon. Nonsense. Yi Tianxing scolded. Yi Linton suddenly felt aggrieved and snorted, if you don't send someone, I will go myself. After saying that, he ran towards the door without looking back. Nan Gong Ya was a little helpless, should we send someone to bring her back, in case something happens to her? 
Let her go. This may not be a bad thing. She has several epic level life saving props on her, and even one of mythical level. Yi Tianxing drank tea and looked at his phone. A weird smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Nan Gong Ya also laughed. In this way, the relationship between Yi Qing and Yi Ling would be much closer, and Yi Qing would come to the Yi family faster. As the sun set, the Qingxui River turned blood red, and Yi Qing stood on the flying sword. Looking at the sign in system, 1 million, 28.1 million. Exchange for alchemist sub profession. Yi Qing's mind gradually became blank, and then he suddenly felt a pain, and countless knowledge of alchemy came into his mind. Nine turn golden pill, nine turn resurrection pill, Yangshan pill, Tongyu pill, longevity pill. Seeing the effect of the nine turns golden pill, Yi Qing's pupils suddenly shrank. Nine turn golden elixir instantly gained the strength of a god king, but it requires strong physical support, otherwise, it will explode and die. However, seeing that the rare materials required and the various extremely harsh conditions are far beyond what can be refined now. On the huge lightsaber, Yi Qing seemed to have thought of something and quickly took out his mobile phone. It was already 10 o'clock in the evening. It took five hours to inherit the alchemist sub-profession. Oops, not tonight. Yi Qing controlled the flying sword at an extremely fast speed, turning into a stream of light and flying towards Qingxui Town. Arriving above Qingxui Town, the sword light shot straight down like a meteor. The huge lightsaber disappeared and Yi Qing landed on the big stone pier at the foot of the mountain and sat directly on the big stone pier. Looking at Su Yuehua's courtyard, there was no movement. Alas, the truth is about to be revealed. I wonder how sad she will be. The little fox on the shoulder shouted dissatisfiedly, Sorry, I forgot. Yi Qing took out a piece of food and put it aside, and the little fox ate it with relish. He himself had no appetite, so he lay on the stone pier and looked at the sky. Until late at night, there was no movement. The next morning, the sky was slightly bright. Yi Qing suddenly opened his eyes, stood up and walked towards the courtyard not far away. Entering the courtyard, I heard some faint sobbing sounds. Push the door open. The middle-aged woman was lying peacefully on the bed, and Su Yuehua was lying on the bed sobbing softly. When she heard the door open, she raised her head and looked at Yi Qing with tears in her eyes. He shouted in a low voice, You lied. Didn't you say that you would be fine after taking medicine? You lied. Yi Qing looked at this little girl who was a little thin and felt a little big-headed for a moment. She stood aside and watched all this silently. Let's bury your mother first. An hour later, a new grave appeared on a low hillside. Su Yuehua knelt in front of the grave, tears falling silently. At this moment, she felt some resentment in her heart. She blamed Yi Qing for not being able to save her mother, and an imperceptible light flashed in her eyes. He stood up directly and shouted to Yi Qing, his voice was a bit sharp. It's all your fault. I want to be alone for a while without following you. Watching her running towards the distance, Yi Qing stood there with a calm expression. Inner demons originally exist in this way. When everyone has negative emotions in their heart, they can directly control that person. Su Yuehua had a seed of resentment against Yi Qing in her heart. She blamed Yi Qing and her mother for lying, and she blamed Yi Qing for not curing her mother. Under the urging of the inner demon, this seed quickly took root and sprouted until it grew into a towering tree in the heart. Yi Qing caressed Xiao Bai, a gust of wind blew by, the treetop swayed, and the figure completely disappeared. The town was very lively, with all the villagers wearing weird costumes. His face was a little distorted, and his eyes were full of fanaticism. Surrounded by a boy in the middle, the boy's expression was dull, his eyes were dull, and he was obviously a little stupid. Several old men in the team were talking to each other, the boy has been found, but there is no girl. What should we do? Why don't you just find one in town? The River God Festival must not be delayed. At this moment, Su Yuehua ran past the front of the team, still immersed in great sadness. Several old men in the crowd looked at each other, and one of them shouted loudly. Don't let the virgins run away. No virgin will be punished by the River God during the River God Festival. Everyone swarmed up and surrounded Su Yuehua. Of course she knew what the virgin represented, and stood there as if resigned to her fate. The boys and girls gathered together, and everyone continued walking towards the Qingxui River. Behind the team, the rest of the professional team were among them. 
All professionals have received a message. Trigger a special mission, go against your own heart, and join this decadent and absurd ritual. After the ritual is completed, you can leave the dungeon immediately. The price is that your heart will always be incomplete. Do you accept it? Everyone in this team finally chose to accept it. A large team marched toward Qingshui River. At this time, in the back mountain of Qingshui town, Taoist master Qingshu was no longer as calm as before. His hands even trembled slightly, it's time for this to end. I don't want to continue like this. He turned directly into a stream of light, rushed into the sky, and flew towards the Qingshui River. At this time, by the Qingshui River, the water was still a little red. All the residents of Qingshui town are gathered here, with a wooden boat floating in front of them. Su Yuehua and that silly boy were sitting on the boat. Every villager knelt on the ground, praying to the river god for blessings, good weather in the coming year, and good food and clothing for us. At this moment, a girl wearing a white coat appeared with a very firm gaze and a somewhat heroic temperament. With a sheathed sword hanging on his waist, he walked in front of everyone. Looking at these kneeling townspeople, they shouted angrily into the river. What river god? I think he is a monster, and he does such evil things. The person who came was Yi Ling, and she finally entered the Qingshui River instance. People around were scolding incessantly, what do you know? The river god festival cannot be disturbed. Get out of the way quickly. You, a foreigner, don't know etiquette. If you disturb the river god, you will be destroyed. Yi Ling held the long sword at his waist and pulled it out directly, I want to see what the river god is. If it is some special monster, I will kill it with my sword. She also received a special mission, but she didn't accept it because she didn't believe she could be trapped here. The mood of the people around became more and more crazy, if you dare to interrupt the river god festival, you are our enemy. Let's beat him to death. That's right, how can a little girl like you blaspheme the god of rivers? I will make you die to apologize today. Everyone surrounded Yi Ling, ready to take action. Standing on a big tree not far away, Yi Qing looked at all this and held his forehead, why did she come in? It's really getting more and more troublesome. After being interrupted like this, it's impossible to tell which one is the inner demon. Suddenly something unexpected happened, and an old man walked out from behind the crowd. He seemed to be very prestigious in the town. At the same time, his expression is calm and his eyes are peaceful, not as weird as others. Girl doll, please leave right now. Everyone around had no objection and obeyed the old man's words. Yi Ling curled his lips and moved his eyes from time to time, as if he thought of something important. Looking at everyone around him, strange, why is he not here? She looked back at the boys and girls on the wooden boat, and made up her mind to wait and see first, and then make a decision. If the wooden boat could float farther, she could save people without being blocked. Seeing Yi Ling slowly withdrawing from the group, all the surrounding residents returned to their original positions and continued to worship the river god. His face was solemn and he was mumbling words, as if he was begging the river god for forgiveness. After the worship, one person in the crowd stood up and came to the river where the wooden boat was docked. Just untie the rope and let the wooden boat float towards the river. On the big tree not far away, Yi Qing had already locked his target and was about to take action. A stream of light fell from the sky, and an old Taoist priest with a Taoist spirit, wearing a Bagua Taoist robe, landed in front of many townspeople. Taoist master Qingshu held a wooden sword in his hand, I am going to get rid of the devil today. On the top of a big branch, Yi Qing looked at this scene, didn't this old guy say he can't leave the mountain? I plan to wait and see to see what happens. I saw the wooden sword in Taoist priest Qingshu's hand swinging, and the head of a town citizen fell directly to the ground. Inner demon, don't you live in the heart of the human heart? Today I will kill everyone here. Let's see how you can hide. Among the crowd, an old man walked out. It was the old man with a calm expression just now. At this time, his face was full of ridicule. Qingshu, I didn't expect you to do this. You are more of a demon than me. Don't forget, I am your inner demon. All of this was caused by you. You didn't stop the river god festival just to create darkness in people's hearts and trap me. The wooden sword in Taoist priest Qingshu's hand trembled slightly, if this continues, this town will be like this for generations. I don't want to continue. Even if I die with you, I won't hesitate. The calm old man, 
bursts of black energy broke out from his body, and he directly fought with Taoist master Qingshu. The two of them floated on their feet and rose directly into the sky, each using their own methods. Huge yin and yang fish patterns appear behind them, as if they want to obliterate the opponent. The wooden sword in Taoist priest Qingshu's hand rose to the sky, the secret of ten thousand swords. Countless sword lights fell like rain, forming a long dragon of sword energy, attacking and killing the inner demon. The inner demon made a secret in his hand, and the river rose into the sky, and began to freeze inch by inch, turning into a huge ice dragon, shining brightly in the sun. The sword energy dragon and the ice dragon collided crazily, as if they were fighting to the death. Below, everyone looked dull, the mayor turned out to be a god, and he was fighting with another old Taoist priest. Everyone was watching the duel in the sky, and the small wooden boat floating on the Yiling River was not too far away. A purple ball appeared in her hand, and wings of light sprouted from her back, with purple fireflies flowing inside. Flying towards the direction of the boat, what she didn't know was that there was a terrifyingly large black shadow under the water. A pair of eyes the size of millstones, blood red and cold, are looking at this place. Yi Ling rescued the boys and girls ashore and watched the duel in the sky. It seems that the old man is a ghost. As long as you help the old Taoist kill him, you should be able to leave the dungeon. Su Yuehua was trembling all over and sitting on a big rock by the river. The team of professionals at the rear all regretted taking on that special mission. Now that I can go out, my soul is missing a corner. If I go out, I will either be crazy or stupid. The battle in the air continued. The underwater beings looked at this scene and remained motionless, as if waiting for both of them to lose. It was good to capture the two of them in one fell swoop. Yi Ching was also watching, sitting on a big branch, holding a lunchbox in his hand, while Xiao Bai was eating. These two old guys have really cool skills, but they don't seem to be very lethal. As the battle gradually became more intense, Taoist Master Ching Shu looked a little pale, it seems I have to use that move. Why are you doing this? Can you kill me? Even if you kill me, it will still appear in other people's hearts. The inner demon said disdainfully, but his eyes were a little wary. He has absorbed a lot of evil thoughts to have the strong strength he has now. If he is seriously injured by the opponent, he will have to accumulate strength again. At this time, Taoist priest Ching Shu looked extremely pale, as if he was burning his blood and essence, preparing for a particularly powerful move. The inner demon roared angrily, trying to interrupt Taoist master Ching Shu's skills. The surrounding sky was suddenly covered with dark clouds, the great magical power of calling wind and rain. Suddenly, thunder flashed in the dark clouds, and a violent storm followed. The violent wind swept the rain and attacked Taoist priest Ching Shu. Taoist priest Ching Shu's face was a little pale, but his eyes were calm, and the Bagua Taoist robe he was wearing suddenly transformed into a Bagua formation. He protected himself and blocked the violent storm. This was my trump card when I was young. You look down on me when you use it now. The inner demon's face began to look ferocious, what about this one? Thousands of thunders struck the sky. Countless lightnings gathered together in the dark clouds, targeting Taoist priest Ching Shu. Everyone below was blown to pieces by the aftermath of the violent storm. Yi Ling stood under a big tree, is this the strength of a level 120 epic boost? Even a team of level 200 professionals may not be an opponent. No, definitely not an opponent. Above the sky, the thunder light condensed at one point, and a huge beam of light, comparable to a hill, struck down towards Taoist priest Ching Shu. Taoist master Ching Shu looked calm and said, Please come to Chen Chen, patriarch. A huge light and shadow appeared behind him, tens of thousands of feet tall, standing tall against the sky and the earth. The aura of that light and shadow was extremely terrifying, and its face was majestic. It turned out to be the legendary Tai Heavenly Lord. The huge thunder light dissipated instantly. The inner demon's expression dropped, I lost this round, but I will come back again. The huge light and shadow glanced at the inner demon, and the inner demon immediately exploded, without even having time to scream. The light and shadow gradually dissipated, Taoist master Ching Shu's face was as pale as snow, and he looked extremely weak. He sighed, he's still gone. The inner demon is hard to kill. At this moment, a sudden change occurred. In the Ching Shui River, a huge monster figure sprang out, let out a roar, and suddenly attacked Ching Shu. 
Kill you and I can leave this place. I have been trapped for a thousand years and I have had enough of this kind of life. This monster is huge, with a leader like a dragon, but behind it is a turtle shell covered with ferocious barbs. It is the river god here. Taoist master Ching Shu looked calm, the patriarch has not gone far yet. What? The river god looked frightened and was about to retreat. On the sky full of dark clouds, a huge handprint was photographed. Shooting it directly on the river god, the river god flew directly into the Qingxui River. A huge water curtain was set off, and a big wave rolled up and hit the river. Taoist priest Qingxu in the sky suddenly spurted out a mouthful of blood and fell to the ground. Yi Qing jumped down from the big tree and took nine steps forward. The sword marks rose up to form a strange formation. The formation ascended to the sky, directly caught Taoist priest Qingxu, and slowly placed it on the ground. After all, Taoist master Qingxu gave him ten heavenly spirit pills, which was regarded as a good relationship. Yi Qing couldn't watch him fall to death like this. Yi Qing walked up to the unconscious Taoist priest Qingxu and said, This old Taoist priest is so fierce. He helped me a lot. But this kind of ultimate move is very harmful to the body. Looking at the unconscious villagers around him and the team of professionals not far away, Yi Qing's eyes turned cold, as his inner demon was not dead yet. However, there is not much strength left and it no longer poses any threat. Even without using his trump card, Yi Qing could easily kill his inner demon. Yi Ling came from a distance and faced Yi Qing, she was not polite at all. Hey, you're not going to kill them all, are you? Of course not, I have my own way of drawing out the inner demons. Yi Qing said calmly. At this moment, Qing Shui River set off huge waves, and a huge thing stood up. It turned out to be the river god. It was not dead, but its shell had been broken into pieces and its body was covered with horrific scars. Throwing a detection technique at the river god, Yi Qing began to check his attributes. Tongtianao, demigod, level 120. Blood volume, 61 eighths billion. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Look at the monsters that are as big as a mountain, rushing towards here. Yi Ling was a little nervous holding a seven-color round bead in his hand, I am a mythical world-breaking bead. You can leave the dungeon at any time. Let's go quickly. Just take Yi Ching's hand and use the props to leave the instance. No need, he will die today. Facing this huge monster, Yi Ching felt calm as never before. Watch it rush towards you. Yi Ching took a step, and a huge lightsaber appeared under his feet, flying high into the sky and activating all additional states. Time pauses. Baby please turn around. A mortal killing flying knife. An immortal killing gourd appeared on his waist, a sword beam appeared that was about to split the sky, and a strange flying knife rushed into Tong Tianao's eyebrows. Kill with one hit. Ding. Kill the level 120 demigod monster and gain 960 million experience points. Use 160 million experience for upgrades, and store other experience in the check-in system. Congratulations on the upgrade. Your Fajian Zushan has been upgraded. Your Flying Sword Qishao is upgraded. Your Fajian Yudian has been upgraded. Your Pet Nine-Tailed Fox has been upgraded. It didn't stop until it reached level 42. Yi Qing flew to the sky above Tongtianao with his sword, holding the immortal killing gourd in his hand. A strange flying knife turned into a stream of light and entered the gourd. After that, all the items dropped by Tong Tianao, together with its corpse, were put into the immortal killing gourd. This body of flesh and blood is made of excellent materials, and Yi Qing will certainly not waste it. With a snap of his fingers, the surrounding river water continued to flow and the time pause was released. Facing a monster of this level, Yi Qing did not dare to be careless at all. A monster that can move and a monster that cannot move are two different concepts. The strength gap between Xiao Bai and his opponent was too big, and he couldn't control it at all. Yi Ling looked at the huge monster that disappeared in front of him and fell into confusion, oh! Where is that terrible monster? In the sky, the lightsaber Yi Qing was stepping on dissipated and fell to the ground. I teleported away with special props. Yi Ling fell into confusion and watched Yi Qing walking in another direction, fearing that she would lose him. He quickly ran to follow him, wait for me. What she didn't notice was that every time Yi Qing took a step, the sword marks turned into runes, sinking into the ground and entering everyone's bodies. 
Yi Ching came under a big tree and looked at Su Yuehua who was unconscious on the ground. Holding a monster core in her hand, she threw it directly to the ground. A formation was activated, radiating light, and held her in the air. This is the virgin girl. I didn't notice just now that her name is the same as that of the demigod monster. Yi Ling came from a distance and looked at Su Yuehua in surprise. She has great potential and may become a demigod level NPC in the future. Yi Ching said as he walked to Taoist priest Qingxu. Two unconscious figures floated behind them, walking towards Qingxui town, telling Yi Ling about Su Yuehua. Arriving at the courtyard at the foot of the mountain, Yi Ching placed Su Yuehua on the bed. Taoist priest Qingxu placed him on Su Yuehua's mother's bed and stuffed a huishan pill into his mouth. Yi Ling was in a daze in the courtyard, looking at the gloomy sky, and saw Yi Ching walking out. You look cold, but I didn't expect you to be so careful. Yi Ching ignored him and sat on a wooden chair nearby. He had a lunchbox in his hand and started eating by himself. Yi Ling turned his head away, not knowing what he was thinking. The courtyard fell into silence. By the Qingxui River, everyone in the professional team turned into light and left the dungeon. But even if you go out, your life in the future will not be very good, your mind will be short of energy, and you will spend the rest of your life in ignorance. Under a big tree, a boy slowly opened his eyes. He was the stupid boy. But now his eyes are full of calmness and haze, Qingxu is really serious this time. I have accumulated hundreds of years of strength, and there is not much left. But it doesn't matter, I have plenty of time. It's a pity that we can't stay in the hearts of foreigners. Do you really want to see what the other world is like? I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.